Hallelujah. Let us pray. Father, thank you so much for this time. What a great blessing. We are so honored, Lord, for this opportunity. We are praying, Holy Spirit, that you lead us exactly, circumspectly, into every word of your will. We love you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Thank you. I want to acknowledge our governor. Thank you so much, governor, for your kind words. And thank you for honoring our program with your presence. Along with your, your deputy. May God bless you. And establish you on your seat. Amen. Amen. Also, I want to thank Apostle Kimani. The father of this house. Baba wa nyumba hii. And um, thank you for building such a beautiful church. Asante kwa kujenga kanisa maridadi namna hii. I just want to, can you give me some volume up here, please? Yeah. Fundu wa mitambo, ungeza sauti ya muubiri tafadhali. I wanted to say that I really like the name of your church, Kingdom Seekers. Because it's my favorite verse in the Bible, but I never thought that it could be used for the name of a church. Seek the kingdom eh? and his righteousness. First. Yes. Seek wa Mungu the kingdom of God. So please, if you hear that I have also started a church called Seek the Kingdom or Kingdom Seeking Something, please, it is from you that I learned it. Sasa ukisikia nimeanzisha kanisa ambalo lina jina mbadala kama hilo nimejifunza kwako. Hallelujah. Amen. It's a really beautiful name. And this is a very beautiful verse. Na hilo ni aya maridadi sana. Seek the kingdom. Tafuta ufalme of God wa Mungu. It's, it's, it's the verse is one of the supreme verses. Ni moja katika aya zilizo za hali ya juu in the in the whole bible katika biblia nzima so god bless you sir and we are honored and we are mtumbe. grateful na amen nashukurani i also want to acknowledge our chairman who introduced us earlier the board of trustees chairman thank you so much also taka pia ni mshukuru mwenyekiti wetu amtume ngahu asante kwa kutupokea amen now this morning I'm just uh, sharing something briefly with you. Asubuhi ya leo nitashiriki nanyi kwa muktasari. And um, I believe that it is going to help you. Amen. So this is just a short session. Sasa hii ni ibada fupi. Now I notice the word transformation is used a lot in Kenya. Nimetambua jina hili mageuzi ama mabadiliko linatumika sana Kenya. And I believe that transformation is a very important thing. Na ninaamini mabadiliko ni kitu cha umuhimu sana. So I want us to look at the transformation of a church. Number 1. Taka mwanzo tutangulie kuangalia jinsi kanisa linaweza kubadilishwa. And the church is transformed by having a biblical vision. Kanisa linageuzwa kwa kuwa na maono yaliyo na msingi wa kibiblia. Amen. Amen. The vision of a mega church. Maono ya kanisa lenye umati mkubwa. Amen. Amen. I think that uh, when, with my ex little experience is not much but the little experience that i have U i see that many pastors don't have a vision for a mega church ujuzi mdogo nilionao nimegundua ya kwamba wachungaji wengi hawana maono ya kuwa na kanisa lenye umati mkubwa amen amen now the bible says where there is no vision the people perish biblia nasema pasipo na maono watu huangamia Amen. Amen. 
Proverbs 29 and verse 18. In other words, when you don't have the vision, you sort of decay naturally. I think that people have more of a vision for titles. Mimi nafikiri watu wana maono ya kuwa na majina makubwa sana. I want to be Dr. Takaniwe Daktari Dr. Kigali. Daktari Kigali. I hope I've mentioned the name of a town, not somebody. Nafikiri hiyo sio jina la mtu. Do you have people in Kenya called Kigali? Kuna watu Kenya wanaitwa Kigali kweli. Or I want to be called apostle. Takuitwa mtume. That's a vision some people have. Hiyo ndio maono ambayo watu wengine wanayo. Or you want to be called apostle doctor. Ama unataka kuitwa mtume daktari. Or you want to be called bishop. Ama askofu. Bishop doctor. Askofu daktari. But I tell you that is not an achievement. Taka nikujulishe leo hiyo sio kitu umefikia. Listen. Sikia. There are certificates Kuna makaratasi of doctor ya madaktari you can get it by email unaweza kupata kupitia barua pepe there are organizations that will email you a certificate Kuna vikundi ambavyo vitakutumia baru, barua that calls you doctor ambayo itakuita daktari you pay 100 dollars unalipa dola 100 and if you don't have 100 dollars they can even give you free na kama hauna hiyo pesa hata unaweza kupewa bure Yes and they write on their website that they have made uh, this number of bishops na wanaandika katika mitandao wanasema wametengeneza madaktari wa idadi hii it's, it's nothing hiyo si kitu so you see somebody he says he's called bishop and he has uh, 14 members sasa unaona mtu anasema anaitwa askofu na anawashirika 14 how does it help sasa hiyo itakusaidiaje you are devaluing even the titles Yaani unaharibia hata majina jina. Yes. Mm. <laughs> Apostle Dr. Bishop. Mtume daktari askofu. Senior Apostle. Mtume mkuu. Senior Bishop. Askofu mkuu. Dr. Apostle. Daktari mtume. That's not a good vision. Hiyo sio maono mzuri uko nayo. I want to give you a greater vision. Taka nipatie maono kubwa. Have a vision to build a mega church. Kuwa na maono ya kujenga kanisa lenye utaa. Kanisa kubwa. In Acts chapter 2, katika matendo ya mitume sura. We see the first church. Tuona kanisa la kwanza. It had about 3000 members. Ilikuwa na washirika 1300. 3000. 1300. And at another place it said 5000 people were added. Na kwingine inasema watu 1500 wakaongezeka. So these scriptures, as you can see, Acts 2.41, there was added to the church 3,000 souls. Unaona maandiku ya nasema, wakaongezeka kanisani nafsi elf tatu. So you are having 70 members. We una washirika sabini. 23 members. Washirika ishirina tatu. With a big title. Na jina kubwa. Heavier than you. Hata inakushinda uzito. How does it help? Sasa hiyo inakusaidiaji. Ask your neighbor, how does it help? Uliza jirani, hiyo inakusaidiaji. So rather, in another place in, the, in Acts, it says then they had 5,000. Mahali pengine katika matendo inasema walikuwa na washirika elfu yeah. tano. Then another place it says, and the whole city gathered. The whole city came to the church. Na kuingine maandiku inasema mji mzima ukaja kanisani. The whole city. Mji mzima. So you can also have a church where the whole city comes. Unaweza kuwa na kanisa pia mbalo mji mzima unaudhuria. Oh yes. Ndiyo. So beginning from today. Tangu leo. I, I want to say that one of the things that changes you is the vision that you have. You don't make your vision. Your vision makes you. Your vision changes you. Tangu siku ya leo nataka ujue vizuri ya kwamba kitu kinacho kubadilisha ni maono ulionayo. Haufanyi maono ifanyike, maono inakufanya. Amen. Amen.
Are you listening to me? Jim Naniskiza. So transformation Mabadiliko. will take place Yatatukia. when you have a great vision. Wakati una maono makubwa. Uh, many Kenyans don't travel outside Kenya. Wa Kenya wengi ya wasafiri nje ya Kenya. When you travel, napo safiri, you see things that are being done that are not that you don't know about. Unaona vitu vimefanywa ambazo haukujua habari zake. And you will you will get inspired. Na unachochewa to do great things. Kufanya mambo makubwa. I traveled to Korea. Nilisafiri kwenda Korea for the last for the last 30 years. Kwa miaka 30 iliyopita. And I saw a church with 700,000 members. Na nikaona kanisa lenye washirika 1,070 with its own building. Na jengo lake. 700,000. 1,700. Yes. Sante. 700,000 members. Washirika 1,700. Yes. Nam. And but his vision, I believe his vision was to even have one million members. Na nafikiri maono yake ilikuwa kupata washirika hata milioni moja. There is an expression in the Bible. Kuna tukio katika Biblia. The church in the wilderness. Kanisa katika jangwa. The church in the wilderness. Kanisa katika Moses was the pastor of the church in the wilderness. Musa alikuwa mchungaji wa kanisa jangwani. Yes. Ndio. Put put up that scripture quickly. Moses was the pastor of the church there and there were 2 million Kulikuwa washirika milioni mbili. Acts 7:38. They Ma, were 2 million. Matendo 7:38. Washirika 200. So you see, Elf, million this, is, this is he that was in the church in the wilderness. Sasa huyu ndiye aliyekuwepo kwa kanisa kule jangwani. Which spoke to him in the Mount Sinai. Aliyemnenea katika mlima Sinai. Who received the lively oracles to give to us? Aliyepokea mafunuo yaliyohai kutuletea. There was a church in the wilderness. Kulikuwa na kanisa jangwani. And there, there were about 2 million that came out of out of Egypt. Na kulikuwa na watu kama milioni mbili waliotoka Misri. Into the wilderness. Kwenda jangwani. So receive a grace and a vision to have 2 million members. Pokea neema na jozi ya kupata two washirika. 2 million members. Washirika milioni mbili. That's the biggest church so far that we know of. Hiyo ndio kanisa kubwa ambayo tunajua habari zake. Yes. Ndio. The church in the wilderness. Kanisa jangwani. So, let us not be satisfied with little, midgety, small, small churches. To but let's have a dream and a vision to do something biblical. To sit na kuwa na kanisa ndogo ndogo za watu wachache, lakini wachatue na maono makubwa ya kufanya kitu chenye msingi wa kibibiria. Amen. Amen. Why is your vision so important? Ni kwa nini maono yako ina umuhimu? In the book of the mega church. Katika kitabu nilichoandika kanisa le watu wengi. Mega church. Kanisa lenye watu wengi. Church growth. Kukua kwa kanisa. It is possible. Inawezekana. Church planting. Kupandikiza makanisa. You, when you have a vision, wakati una maono, it makes you behave differently. Itakufanya uanze kuonekana mtu tofauti. It makes you not to criticize pastors of big churches. Itakufanya usiwe mtu wa kuwakosoa wachungaji wenye makanisa makubwa. Yes. Ndio. You know there are people in this town who have criticized Apostle Kimani. I don't know any, I don't know anybody here and I've not been told anything but I know Najua, there nasijui. are people here who criti- you just speak about him even some of you wouldn't have even come here because you, 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 it, it pains you to see what, what has been done here yani kuna, wachunga, kuna wachungaji hapa ambao hata kuja hapa imechukua mungu kwa sababu taki kuwa kazi kubwa ambayo mungu ameifanya hapa that, that, that is not it's called skin pain iyo that is not what you must do. See here you unapaswa wa kufanya. No. La. You, 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 when you have a vision for a mega, and you see somebody has done something. Do you see? When you see the person you say, oh wow. Wakati what, what, maono. What is it that I don't know? Yani ukiwa na maono ya kanisa kubwa. What can I learn from him? Nitajifunza nini kwake. Instead of criticizing and making sacrifice comments badala ya kujaribu kumkosoa na kufanya matamshi ya kumkejeri oh this church is just this and that 
Ai kanisa tu ni hii na hii. Oh this man is just done this and that. Ah huyu mtu amefanya hivi na hivi. Stop talking like a fool. Wacha kuongea kama mjinga. Humble yourself. Nyenyekea and learn. Au jifunze. If you have a vision kama una maono to have a mega church. Wa kanisa kubwa. You will never criticize any of God's servants who are if you will admire them. Hautajaribu kuwakosoa watumishi wa Mungu. Because you want to be like them. Kwa sababu unataka kuwa kama hao. That will help your vision and your dream. Hiyo itasaidia ndoto yako na maono yako. So your vision makes you talk a certain way. Sasa maono yako itafanya uongee kwa lugha fulani. Your vision makes you like certain people. Maono yako itakufanya upende watu fulani. Your vision makes you listen to certain messages. Maono yako itakufanya usikize jumbe aina fulani. Your vision makes you even travel to certain places. Maono yako itafanya usafiri maeneo fulani. That is why it's important to have a good vision. Ndipo sasa ni muhimu kuwa na maono mazuri. Yongicho used to say all the time your vision makes you you don't make your vision when you have a vision the vision makes you behave a certain way it's not that you you make the vision i want to make it you know when you have a vision it makes you turn into the thing that you have as a vision mchungaji yongicho alizoea kusema ya kwamba maono yako ndio yanakubadilisha kuwa mtu fulani lakini sio wewe unaobadilisha maono yako yes mm. people who want to be president wanaotaka kuwa marais they have a vision so you'll be surprised how long ago they had a vision to be a president utashangaa maono yao ya kutaka kuwa rais ilianza lini if you want to be a president of let's say england takuwa rais kwa mfano wa uingereza or america ama marekani you you they, they, it makes them do certain things from childhood itawafanya wewe na aina fulani ya maisha tangu utotoni many of them will go to oxford university Wengine wataenda katika chuo kikuu cha Oxford or Cambridge ama Cambridge or, because in among the universities the, it's like if you've been to certain place it has a meaning kwa sababu kuweko katika chuo fulani ina maana yake That's why Bill Clinton will go to Oxford ndipo sa Bill Clinton alienda Oxford These people had these ideas in them long ago Hawa watu walikuwa na mawazo haya kitambo it, your vision makes you ni maono yako yanayokufanya So I don't have a vision to be a president. That's why I also didn't go to Oxford. Na ndipo sasa mimi sikuenda Oxford kwa sababu sina maono ya kuwa rais. Yes. Ndio. My father wanted me to go to all these places. Baba yangu alitaka niende huko kote. Yes. Ndio. But I I didn't have I wanted to have a mega church. Mimi nilitaka kuwa na kanisa lenye watu wengi. So I went to Korea not to Oxford. Kwa hivyo nikaenda Korea sio Oxford. Yes. Ndio. I cannot remember ever criticizing a pastor of a mega church. Mimi siwezi kukumbuka kama nimewahi kujaribu kumkosoa mchungaji mwenye kanisa kubwa. Yes. Ndio. My vision to have to evangelize made me admire Reinhard Bonke and not to criticize him. Maono yangu ya kufanya kazi ya uinjilisti ilinivutia sana kwa muinjilisti Reinhard Bonke na kwamba nimkosoe. My vision for a mega church made me read certain books maono yangu ya kanisa kubwa ilinielekeza kusoma vitabu aina fulani yes Ndiyo. if you don't have a vision for ministry you will not be interested in these books kama hauna maono ya huduma hata vitabu hivi haviwezi kukuvutia yes Ndiyo. it is your your vision makes you read ni maono yako itakufanya usome how many have heard of winners chapel ni wangapi ya kanisa la Winners Chapel. Yeah. Mm. One day I heard Bishop Oyedepo who is the the founder of that church. He described how he got Yongicho's book on church growth, cell systems or something. Siku moja nikamsikia daktari ama askofu David Oyedepo kizungumza habari za vile alipatana na kitabu cha mchungaji Yongicho. This is somebody who has three or four services each service has 50000 inside the building and 50000 outside and has three services of that sasa who you listen mtu? to me are you listening to my Unanisikiza? english do you speak english i'm talking to you in <laughs> Unasikia english kiingereza nyinyi huyu ni mtu ambaye yako na kanisa la watu 1500 wako ndani na wengine 1500 nje na anafanya ibada tatu kwa siku yes yes 
And I heard him say, Kaskia kisema, he said one time he got Yongicho's book. Alipopata kitabu cha Yongicho. They didn't have enough copies. Hawakuwa na vitabu vya kutosha. So they photocopied the book. Wakakipiga chapa and shared it to all the pastors. Kashiriki na wachungaji wote. And he said everybody should go and read. Sima kila mchungaji asome hii. Study then they will meet. Alafu watakutana to see what they are missing. Kuangalia wanakosea what wapi. Are, what are we missing? Tunakosea wapi in our dream for church growth. Katika ndoto yetu ya kuza kanisa. This is how people who have a dream for church growth and for mega church this is how they behave they will photocopy the books and share so everybody read then we meet for a major discussion and analysis on what a pastor who has 700,000 members is saying and has written to see what are we the word he uses what are we missing hivi ndivyo watu wenye maono ya kanisa kubwa watakavyofanya watapiga chapa ya vitabu wapatie wachungaji na watengeneze mkutano wa kutane waulizane tunakosea wapi yes mm. then i watched i saw some, not i didn't even but i saw a, another pastor make a video of bishop oyedepo mocking him mocking the sound of his voice mocking how he was preaching and i look at this man and this man is a failure nikaona is a, a, a disaster <laughs> yani nikaona mchungaji mwingine anachukua video ya mchungaji David Oyedepo na anaanza kudhihaki sauti yake ati vile anavyofundisha na huyu mtu peke yake ni janga Every one of you here who has a vision Kila mmoja hapa aliye na maono receive a great vision for your life and Pokea your maono kubwa ya maisha yako You know I want to say something before I finish this little part you can probably never have a vision for something you have never seen before. Pengine hauwezi kupata maono ya kitu ambacho hujawahi kuona kabla. If you haven't seen it physically. Kama hujawahi kuiona moja kwa moja. I don't think. Sifikiri you can easily have that vision. Unaweza kupata maono hayo. And I think this is why it's important for pastors and Christians and people with visions to travel, to travel and see na ninafikiri ndio inafanya iwe umuhimu wa chungaji na watu wenye maono kusafiri ili waone yes ndio the few times i had the chance to see reinhard bonkis crusade i had a vision in my mara my... chache nilipomuona mchungaji reinhard bonke akihubiri nilipata maono kwenye macho yangu yes ndio yes mm. As a young person I was privileged to see TL Osborne live at a crusade. Kama kijana mdogo nilipata nafasi ya kumuona mwinjilisi TL Osborne moja kwa moja katika mkutano wa hadhara. Those things don't leave your spirit. Vitu hivyo havitoki kwenye moyo wako. It's a picture ni picha of something that can happen. Ya kitu kinachoweza kutendeka. So as you stand here in this beautiful building Tunaposimama hapa katika jengo hili maridadi with seats all the way to the back na viti vimejaa hadi kule nyuma first floor au jua ya kwanza second floor sakafu ya pili people on top of the stage watu juu ya jukwa have a dream my brother kuwa na ndoto ndugu yangu dream kuwa na ndoto eh? that it is it these are wonderful things. Hizi ni vitu vya ajabu. That are possible. Ambavyo vinawezekana. It's possible in Africa. Na vinawezekana Africa. It's possible in Kenya. Vinawezekana Kenya. It's possible that it is not in the capital city. Na hata ni inawezekana sio katika mji mkuu. Because we are not in the capital. Kwa sababu hatuko kwenye mji mkuu. So maybe you are not in the capital. Pengine hauko kwa mji mkuu. God is showing you what can be done outside the capital. Mungu anakuonyesha kile kinachoweza kufanyika nje ya mji mkuu. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't sit in the same room with pastors who speak sarcastically about pastors. Usiketi and churches and achievers. Usiketi kwa nyumba moja na wachungaji ambao wanawakejeli, wachungaji wengine waliofaulu katika huduma. When some, when they criticize when you are in a room and they say some tell them I'm going to say what you told me I'm going to tell the person whatever I'm going to send him a WhatsApp and a picture of you that this is what you said 
about him. Ukikutana na watu wa aina hiyo, waambie kile umeniambia kuhusu mtu fulani, nitamwambia, nitamtumia picha yako na nimwambie kile umesema kumuhusu. Hey, hey. Do you people who have do you have people here who gossip? Je, mna watu hapa wa masengenyo? Oh, it's mostly in Tanzania. Ama hii ni shida ya Tanzania. Do you have it here too? Muna hiyo shida hapa pia. What about accusations? Na watu wenye kushtaki wengine? What about fault finding? Na wenye kutafutia watu makosa? What about slander? Na wale wa kuharibia watu jina? Oh yes. Eh. Hey. Don't join the demons. Usiungane na mapepo. Don't join the demons. They Usiungane na mapepo. One time I was with Benny Hinn. Siku moja nilikuwa na mchungaji Benny Hinn in Ukraine. Kule Ukraine. And we were having dinner. Na tunapata chakula cha jioni. You know, and he said something. Kasema kitu. He, he took his phone. He said, "Sometimes I I look at what people are saying about me." Kachi. And I asked myself, "Who are they talking about? Is it me? Is it, is, am I the one in this thing that they are discussing?" It is unbelievable wakati mwingine nachukua simu yangu na ninaangalia kile watu wanasema habari zangu na siamini kabisa kile watu wanasema hii hawezi kuamini beginning from today kuanzia leo no more gossiping fault finding slandering accusing demonic works kazi in zote, the name of Jesus kazi zote za mapepo kutafutia watu makosa kuwashtaki kuwaharibia jina wacha have a vision kuwa na maono there are some people kuna watu because of what you've said kwa kile umesema about great things kuhusu mambo makubwa you can't have it hauwezi kupata you see mm-hmm. when you criticize somebody taking an offering ukimkosoa mtu anachukua sadaka you prevent yourself from being able to take an offering unajizuia mwenyewe kutokuwa na uwezo wa kuchukua sadaka namna hiyo yes ndio yeah. because of what you said kwa sababu ya kila ulisema yes ndio there are pastors in kenya kuna wachungaji kenya criticize other people when they take offerings wanakosoa wengine wakati wanachukua sadaka yeah mm. and because of that kwa sababu ya hiyo your offerings are very low Sadaka yako iko chini sana. Yes. Mm. You killed your ability to take offerings. Uliua uwezo wako wa kuchukua sadaka. Kenya is one of the countries one of the lowest offerings ever. Sasa Kenya ndio moja katika mataifa watu wanatoa sadaka ya chini sana. You know you know how I know? Unajua nilijuaje? You know how I know? Nilijuaje? Because our church has got 10 we have many churches but apart from that 10 buildings like ta- cathedrals we have 10 cathedrals in Kenya only Kenya from Mombasa to wherever including Nakuru tuna makanisa mengi lakini hapa Kenya those are my church members who are shouting over there hao ni washirika wetu yeah yeah they are my children hao ni watoto wangu now The reason that I know that Kenya has a very low offerings sababu ya mimi kujua hamtoi vizuri hapa Kenya is that there are only three two countries or three countries that we have not been and had a crusade in Africa ni matai- that is sub-Saharan Africa ni mataifa mawili peke yake katika Afrika hatujakwenda kufanya mkutano kule we have been in different countries tumekuwa kwa mataifa tofauti conference just like this tumekuwa na kanda mnazi za aina hii yes mm. and the difference in the offering of just a normal african country na tofauti ya matoleo katika mataifa ya kawaida ya kiafrika is like is like 500 to 1 ni kama tofauti yeah, ya 500 kwa kwamoja 500 like it is 500000 to 1000 hebu fikiria that's the difference ati tofauti ni kubwa namna hiyo it's amazing hiyo inashtua yeah Mm. That's why I see pastors have business have to do their businessmen. Ndipo sa wachungaji hapa lazima wafanye biashara. Me I'm not a businessman. Mimi sifanyi biashara. I don't do any business at all. Sifanyi biashara yote. Because God said to me when I was practicing medicine that I should give my first Timothy 4:15 give thyself wholly to ministry. Mungu aliniambia nilipokuwa daktari ya kwamba jipeane kikamilifu kwa huduma 
I, I, I don't do any business at all. Mimi sifanyi biashara yote kabisa. Oh yes, kabisa. Oh yes. And you see, now, now, now. God there's a way that God provides. Kuna njia Mungu anatoa. Yeah, you see, you see a pastor is, you know, is selling uh, pens or he's selling computers. Naona kuna mchungaji anauza tarakinishi. Or he's a politician. Ama mchungaji mwanasiasa. Or he's doing so many things. Ama anafanya vitu vingi. Look, the work of God has 7 billion. We are now more than we were. And you see, since we've been preaching, all of us preaching, what has happened in the world? The world is more larger and more wicked than when we first began. We really need to give ourselves more holy and more young people, more of us to the work of the ministry. But you see, even, even to give offerings... People, people don't give up. So it's like this. It's almost like there's no future. You can't even have enough finances to do the work of God in the church. And Kenya, you see, you need to learn. You, you criticize things. And you see now you don't have money. Yeah. I can tell you, you see offering a large crusade like this in Kenya, the total offering about 200 and something dollars, US dollars. Yeah, 200. Yaani mkutano kama huu unaweza kutolewa sadaka yeah. za aina hiyo. Yesterday we took an offering here. I think only two pastors came and gave a certain amount. We'll be in another place. You'll see 200 pastors who come and give that. Jana the tuli, same type of pastors come. Tuli, we have been in Africa. We are just coming from Point Noir in Congo Brazzaville. It's a complete difference. Yaani kuna tofauti kubwa ya vile mnavyotoa. Tumetoka yeah. Congo tu juzi na hapa tunaona tofauti kubwa. But you see, you don't travel, so you don't know. You are only in your counties. Kini zaza nyinyi ya msafiri, kwa hivyo hamjui. Nyinyi mnasafiri tu kwa majimbo. You are only in your county. Natembea kwa majimbo. You feel Kenya is a great nation. It's a great nation, but you see, there are other things happening. Unafikiri ati Kenya ni taifa kubwa ni kweli, lakini kuna mambo mengine makubwa ya natendeka. The difference is fantastic. Tofauti ni ya kushangaza. Even in nations that you think these are the poorest nations. Ata mataifa people generously giving supporting. Ata mataifa unayofikiria ni ya maskini, unaona watu wamejawa na ukarimu na kusaidia kazi ya Mungu. So you must have a good vision. Lazima uwe na maono mazuri. And be careful, your vision will advise you. Don't criticize what you want to have one day. Angalia vizuri, maono yako yatashauri. Usitoe oh, yes. makosa kile unataka kupata siku moja. Oh yes. Mm. Oh yes. Ndio. So transformation Mabadiliko comes by having a great vision. Yanaanza kwa kupata maono makubwa. And I believe God is giving you a great vision. Na ninaamini Mungu anakupatia maono makubwa. See it. I've never seen any Kenyan uh, evangelist in Ghana before. Mimi sijawahi kuona muinjilisti wa Kenya akija Ghana pale awali. No, I've not seen it before. Sijawahi kuona or even an internationally known Kenyan pastor. Ama mchungaji anayejulikana kimataifa wa Kenya. I don't know any. Means you yoyote. And some of you you criticize Nigerians. Na wengine wenyu ni wakokuwa kosoa wa Nigeria. You criticize Nigerians. Kuwakosoa tu Nigerian wa, pastors. Wa na, mchungaji wa Nigeria. One day God told me there is great gift in Nigeria and I took all my pastors about 50 pastors. I drove with them. I said let's go to Nigeria to go and learn. Mungu I took them all, my pastors, all the beach pastors, everybody from everywhere, and I we drove into Nigeria to go and learn from great churches like Redeemed Church, which has got one million, two million people. When they do an altar call, huh? altar call, you join a bus. You see, the, the, the church <laughs> is very big. So when you give your life to Jesus, you go to the side and join the bus, and the bus will take you to the front, to the altar. Kuna, kuna wakati nilichukua eh? wachungaji wangu wote nikawapeleka Nigeria kuona makanisa makubwa wakati mchungaji anaita watu wa kuokoka ukiwa kule nyuma lazima uabilie basi ndio uletwe hapa mbele yes basi you join a bus unaingia kwa basi and the bus will take you to the front for altar call like you can't walk you have to dri- drive yeah, yani hilo kanisa ni kubwa sana uwezi kutembea kwenda kuokoka lazima uende na gari are you listening to what I'm saying? Three kilometers. Kilometer tatu. Basi unaitaji. 
Why should why should I criticize it? Sasa hiyo nitaikosoa kwa nini? I, I rather want to go and learn. Mimi nataka kwenda nijifunze. And see. Na nione. You can never become something you attack. Hauwezi kufanyika kitu unachoshambulia. What you attack? Kile unashambulia. It will never come to you. Haitawahi kuja kwako. Oh yes. Ndio. Some people have cats in the house. You know cats? cats. Yeah, wengine wako na paka kwa nyumba. It, it doesn't come near you even when you call it. Na ikukaribi hata ukiita. Say come. Naiambia njo. Njo. There are visitors. Kuna wageni njo. Njo. It will never come. Haiwezi karibia because you have been kicking it. Mekuwa ukipiga teke. Kicking it. Piga mateke. And attacking it. Na kuishambulia. So when you need it, kihitaji, it will not come to you. Haitakuja kwako. Yes. Ndio. So don't attack what you you will need. Usishambulie kile utahitaji baadaye. Yes. Yeah. Receive a greater vision today. Okay, maono makubwa leo. Amen. Amen. The second key to transformation. Funguo la pili la kuleta mabadiliko is books. Ni vitabu. I want you to look at Revelation chapter 10. Taka uangalie ufunuo sura ya 10. Nitapeana funguo tatu za mabadiliko. Number one, ya kwanza. Revelation chapter 10. Ufunuo sura ya 10. Aya ya kwanza. I saw a mighty angel come down from heaven. Kaona malaika mkuu akitua kutoka mbinguni. Clothed with a cloud. Amevalia wingu. And a rainbow was upon his head. Na rainbow ilikuwa katika kichwa chake. And his face was wa. as it were the sun kwa kama ni jua is it a big angel je huyu ni malaika mkuu is it a big angel no i'm asking you is it a big angel yes ndio when you come to our visit our uh, center for research into church growth and he, the history of evangelism krewem in ghana You see as there's a statue of an angel. Takapotembelea kituo chetu cha utafiti wa kuangalia jinsi kanisa linavyokuwa, utaona picha ya malaika. But this one is bigger. Lakini hii ni kubwa. Yeah. yeah. Now look at verse 2. Angalia aya ya pili. He had in his hand a little book. Kwa mkono wake ana kitabu kidogo. And his right foot was on the sea and his left foot was on the earth na mkono wake wa kulia ulikuwa kwenye bahari samani mguu wa kulia kwenye bahari na mguu wa kushoto kwenye inchi wow so hmm. that's one foot in nakuru sasa mji moja mguu moja nakuru one foot in dar es salaam sea na mguu ule mwingine mombasa. mombasa kwenye sea. bahari can you imagine how tall this angel hebu fikiria huyu malaika ni mrefu kiasi gani very big mkubwa sana now let us see what is this big angel uh, verse 2 hebu tuangalie aya he ya... had in his hand a little book katika mkono wake alikuwa na wow. kitabu kidogo now let's see what is going to happen look at verse 8 hebu angalia aya ya nane tuone kitakachotendeka and the voice the sound that i heard niliosikia from heaven spoke bimbuni. to me and said go and take the little book which is open in the hand of the angel which stands on the sea in nakuru and the earth the nakuru and mombasa nikasikia sauti ikiniambia enda uchukue kitabu kidogo kilichoko kwenye mkono wa malaika anayesimama mguu moja mombasa na mguu moja nakuru lift your hands say god is visiting me nua mkono sema mungu ananitembelea with an angel na malikai wangu Amen. Amen. Now, what That's, is the angel bringing? Money? Malaika analeta nini? Pesa? Money? Pesa. No, no, no at all. Sio pesa. The angel has a little book. Just a book. Malaika ako na kitabu. Verse 9. Aya ya tisa. Please follow me. It's a very important revelation. Nifuate tafadhali. I went to the angel and I said, "Give me the book." And he said, "Take it and eat it up." and it shall make thy belly bitter but it shall be in thy mouth sweet as honey nikamwendea nikamwambia nipatie kitabu akanipatia akaniambia kichukue na ukile ukimalize kitakuwa so, kichungu kwenye tumbo lakini kitafanya kinywa chako utamu kama asali amen amen the next thing is that you have to eat the book sasa jambo lingine ni kwamba lazima ukile kitabu yes ndio one of the most important books i want to recommend a book to you 
is called the final quest by Rick Joyner. Kitabu kimoja I advise every pastor to read this book. Kitabu kimoja cha umuhimu sana nataka nikupendekezee kimeandikwa ni mwandishi Rick Joyner kinaitwa Swali la Mwisho. Yeah. Mm. The day that somebody showed me something in that book. I went home and I found that I had three copies already in my library that I have never read this book. Nilionyeshwa na mtu kitu nda kitabu hicho nilipoenda kwangu katika maktaba nikatambua kumbe nina vitabu vitatu na sijawahi kusoma hata kimoja I, I think two copies some vitabu viwili So you can have a book but you don't read it Unaweza kuwa na kitabu lakini usomi And you can have a book and you don't eat it Na utapata kitabu na haukili when you eat something Kila it kitu. becomes a part of you Kinakuwa sehemu yako You are what you eat Wewe ni kile unakula so you eat a book na kula kitabu until what is in the book is part of you like the bible hadi kile kilicho kwenye kitabu kinafanyika sehemu yako kama biblia wow nam now give me Nipatia. and it will be sweet initially but it will become bitter na itakuwa tamu mwanzo lakini because ba- there is bitterness kuna, in the ministry kuna uchungu kidogo katika huduma real ministry huduma yenyewe now what is going to happen verse 10 aya ya 10 i took the little book Kwa out kitabu. of the angel's hand and i ate it wow and it was in my mouth sweet as honey and as soon as i had eaten it my belly was better nikachukua kitabu kutoka kwa mkono wa malaika na nikakila kabisa na kikawa na utamu kwenye kinywa changu lakini baadaye kikawa na uchungu kwenye tumbo langu. Wow. Naam. Now, how many want to know what is going to happen when you eat up a book? Ni wangapi wangetaka kujua nini itatendeka wakati unakula kitabu? Are you sure you want to know what's going to happen when you? Je, uko tayari unataka kujua kinachotendeka? Look at the next verse, the last verse in that chapter. Angalia aya ya mwisho katika sura hiyo. And he said unto me. Na akaniambia, Thou must prophesy or preach lazma utabiri so your ministry is going to four dimensions Sasa uduma, four transform dimensions huduma yako itachukua mielekeo minne tofauti ya mabadiliko number one, ya kwanza prophesy to many people tabiria watu wengi you see some of you you preach to just a small group wengine wenyu mnahubiria watu chache but through a book a little book lakini kup- kitabu kidogo your ministry will transform and you will now be speaking to many more people huduma yako itabadilika na utaanza kuhubiria watu wengi zaidi look at it angalia hiyo is after eating the book baada ya kula kitabu then kita- the angel said to him you must now prophesy preach minister to number one, many people many what? people what to of that little group watu wengi katika sehemu hiyo ndogo wow Mm-hmm. How many are ready to preach to larger? Ni wangapi wanataka kupanuka wawe wakubwa? I'm honored to be preaching to so many people this morning. Ninaheshimika kuhubiria watu and wengi sana siku ya leo. About 2000 people online. Na watu zaidi elfu mbili kwenye mitandao. Yes. Ndio. When are you going to start preaching to many people? Transformation. Utaanza kuhubiria watu wengi lini? wakati utabadilika you are satisfied with your big title and small congregation wewe umetosheka na majina makubwa na washirika wachache ask your neighbor are you with big title and small congregation uliza jirani yako wewe ndio tunasema habari zako majina makubwa watu wachache hey hey Let's go back to the verse. A change is coming in your ministry. Mabadiliko inakuja katika huduma. Now the next one is you are going to preach to many nations. Itakayofuata utahubiria mataifa mengi. Your ministry is becoming transformed into an international ministry or international. Huduma yako inabadilika sasa kuwa huduma ya kimataifa. Let me tell you it is a dimension of ministry to be in other nations. Nakwambia ni awamu fulani ya huduma kuingia katika mataifa mengine. Oh yes. Ndio. This year I have preached in I'm a preach in America. Mwaka huu nimehubiri Marekani. I preached in Madagascar. I had the same campaign in Madagascar. Nimehubiri Madagascar. 
I've had the same campaign in Congo Brazzaville. Nimekuwa Congo Brazzaville. I've preached in New Zealand. Nimehubiri kule New Zealand. Our church's camp meeting. I've Ma- preached in Fiji. Nimehubiri Fiji. A full camp full of Fijians. Kambi Our churches there. Imejaa makanisa yetu ya Wafiji. in Tonga Island. Nimehubiri Tonga year, Island. Nations. Mataifa. Nations. Mataifa. I preach in Papua New Guinea in the Nimeu, center of the city. Nimehubiri New Guinea pale katikati ya mji. I preach in Kenya. Nimehubiri Kenya. I preach in Uganda. Nimehubiri Uganda. I preach in Gabon. Nimehubiri Gabon. Oh yes. Ndio. I mean this is just in a few months. Na hii ni miezi michache na watajia. You soon be having an international ministry. Wewe utakuwa na huduma ya kimataifa. So, don't criticize me when you criticize me what this grace will not have not be on you. Things you attack don't come to you. They run away from you. Zile vitu unashambulia havikuji kwako, vitakimbia zisikije kwako. Oh yes. Mm. And I've preached in Ghana. Na nimehubiri Ghana. Mm? Eh? And I've preached in Argentina, yes. I've been in Argentina. Nimekuwa Argentina pia this year. Mwaka huu. The largest church in Argentina. Kanisa lile kubwa kabisa Argentina. Oh yes. Ndio. Yes. Ndio. Now, this is going to be fulfilled, huh? Sasa hii itatimia. I preach in Singapore. Nimehubiri so, Singapore. Yeah. Now, now the next one is and many tongues. Itakayofuata ni utazungumzia watu wenye lugha nyingi. Now, this is a dimension of your ministry. Sasa hizi ni awamu ama mielekeo ya huduma. Some of you only preach in Swahili. Wengine wenu tu mnahubiri na Kiswahili. But you're going to preach you you see you're going to need interpreters when your ministry moves into this third dimension. Sasa huduma yako itakapopanuka. Interpreters. Ikipanuka utahitaji wakalimani. Oh yes. Ndio. Yes. Yes. Translation to French. Kuwa watakao tafsiri Kifaransa. You need it. Na wahitaji. My books vitabu vyangu are in 60 languages. Vimeandikwa katika lugha 60 tofauti. Yes. Different languages. Lugha tofauti 60 very popular in french i don't speak a word of french just bonjour it's just bonjour <laughs> that's all i know bonjour bonsoir and it's finished mimi si ongei jesui i also know jesui na najua maneno hayo mawili ya kifaransa but so many french books i have one one pastor is 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 so thousands of these boxes in french and he has been now invited to paris and it's only french 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 this book it's like a ministry that moves into another language which you don't speak. Yaani huduma yako inaenda kwa lugha. It's a dimension of ministry. Lugha nyingine ya huduma ambayo hata wewe hauzungumzi. Receive a transformation my brother. Pokea mabadiliko. Receive a transformation. Pokea mabadiliko. And this is an amazing four dimensions of ministry. Na na hii inasisimua sana miondoko ya aina ile ya huduma. Oh yes. Ndio. Tongues. Ndimi your books will need to be translated because people from other languages want to read your books. Vitabu vyako vitahitaji kutafsiriwa maana watu wa kabila za mbali watasoma vitabu vyako. Oh yes. Ndio. In Argentina they only speak Spanish. Kule Argentina wanaongea tu Kispanish. Very soon your ministry will also be into translated into Spanish. Huduma yako itatafsiriwa na Kispanish. At first I didn't like uh, interpreters like this man. Yaani pale mwanzo hakutaka watu wa kusumbua mikutano kama mimi because i used to feel that he's slowing me down nilikuwa ninajihisi ni kama wananivuta nyuma but when i saw this scripture nilipoona andiko hili i realized that it is rather an a level of ministry that other tongues need to hear so you always need an interpreter everywhere you go you need and sometimes two interpreters i've had three interpreters before like when i preach this one preach the second one preach then the third one preach. i have enough time to even send a text or something before it comes back to my turn yani mwanzo nilikuwa na shida ya wakalimani lakini sasa nikagundua wakati Mungu amepeleka huduma yangu katika kiwango hicho sasa lazima niwe na subira ya kutosha kungojea mkalimani atafsiri nimewahi kuwa na wakalimani wanne huyu anapea huyu huyu anapea mwingine hata anapata muda wa kutosha wa kutuma ujumbe mfupi Oh yes. Eh. I see Kenyan pastors becoming international ministers with other languages. 
you, you, you add other languages, translations, interpreters, and it's all the sign that this thing has been fulfilled. Naona wachungaji wa Kenya wakifanyika wachungaji wa kimataifa watakao zungumza na lugha mbalimbali tofauti tofauti na hiyo itafanyika kwa sababu nabii huu unatimia katika maisha yako. In Madagascar I had a Malagasy interpreter. Kule Madagascar nilikuwa na mtafsiri wa kimalagasi. In Malawi I had a Chichewa. Is it Chichewa? Chichewa interpreter. Malawi nilikuwa na mtafsiri wa Kichichewa. In uh, uh, where? In Gabon, I had a French interpreter. In Rwanda, I had a Kenya Rwanda interpreter. In Ule. Burundi, I had a Kirundi interpreter. Burundi ni kwa namtafsiri wa Kirundi. Yes. Ndiyo. They don't. They don't. It's, it, they have their own language. Wana luga yao. Yes. And my books are translated into Kenya Rwanda. Na the language of Rwanda. Vita buviangu vime tafsiri wata na luga ya Kirwanda. Oh yes. Yeah. How does this come about? Sasa hii nafanyika namna gani? It comes about. Nafanyika by this scripture. You eat the little book. Kupi. Your ministry will turn into many people, Kupi. many nations, mataifa mengi, tongues, and then kings. Ndimi nyingi na kisha wafalme. At a certain level of your ministry, mahali fulani you start to meet the kings. Mahali fulani utaanza kukutana na wafalme. Oh yes. Ndio. I've met many kings. Mekutana wafalme. All the presidents of our country, my country. Marais wote wa nchi yangu. I've met them over and I've had the privilege of hosting them in my house. Nimekuwa nao mpaka kwangu kwa nyumba, kwa nyumba yangu. I've met presidents of Gabon, the one who just went off I was with him. Nimekuwa na rais wa Gabon ambaye ame President of Namibia, President of this. I met your president. Kutana na rais wa Ruto. Rais Ruto. There, there will come a time you will meet them. But it's a realm of ministry. Kuna wakati fulani utafika ukutane nao. It's from a book. Inawezekana. I mean you, can, you it's almost unbelievable. Yaani ni kama hayaaminiki. But these are four dimensions of ministry. Lakini hizi ni awamu nne za huduma. Let's read chapter 10 verse 1. Hebu tusome sura ya 10 aya ya kwanza. I saw a mighty angel. Nikaona malaika mkuu coming down from heaven. Kishuka toka binguni. Verse 2. Aya ya pili. He had in his hand a book. Mkononi mwake ana kitabu. Verse 3. Tatu. And he cried then verse 8. Aya ya 8 ya tatu wakalia. The voice said go and take the little book. Sauti kaniambia chukua kitabu kidogo. Look at it. Angalia. Verse 9. Tisa. Verse 9. And then he said give me the little book. Nikasema nipe kitabu. Verse 10. Aya ya 10. I ate the book. Nikala kitabu. Then verse 11. Kumi na moja. Then he said you now prophesy. Akamwambia tabiri to these four dimensions. Kwa milengo hii minne. Many people. Watu wengi. Your church will not be small anymore. Kanisa lako litakuwa ndogo tena. Church will not be small anymore. Crusade yako itakuwa ndogo. Many nations. Mataifa mengi. You become international. Unakuwa mtu wa kimataifa. Not only in Kenya. Hautakuwa wa Kenya tu. Na Kuru. Ama Nakuru. And your church will not only be a Kenyan church. Kanisa lako litakuwa tu a church in other 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 countries. Litakuwa kwa mataifa mengine mengi. Tanzania is waiting for you. Tanzania inakungojea. Uganda is waiting for you. Uganda inakungojea. Zambia is waiting for Zambia you. Zambia South Africa is waiting Africa for you. Kumwe... Rwanda is waiting Rwanda for you. Kumwe... Burundi is waiting Burundi for you. Kumwe... The ends of the world are waiting for Mishu you. Ya kumwe... Then other tongues. Lugha nyingine. Languages. Lugha. Languages. Lugha. Different languages of of the world. Lugha tofauti za ulimwengu. I never knew there were so many languages. Mimi sikujua kuna lugha nyingi. I thought the whole world was English. Mimi nilifikiri dunia mzima ni Kiingereza. I thought Africa was French and English. Nilifikiri Afrika ni Kifaransa na Kiingereza. Not at all. Si hivyo. Africa is French. Afrika ni Fra- English, Kiingereza, Swahili, Kiswahili, Chichewa, Chichewa, Kenya Rwanda, Kenya Rwanda, Kirundi, Kirundi, Malagasy, Malagasy, many other languages. Mataifa mengine mengi. Auza, Auza, Duruba, Duruba, different like that is written and spoken. Lugha nyingi zinaandikwa na kuzungumzwa. We are narrow minded because we have not traveled to see. Shida yetu tuna akili kidogo kwa sababu hatujatembea tuone. But today God is opening your vision to see. Lakini leo Mungu anakufunulia maono uone. And then the, you are going to see the kings. Alafu utaona wafalme. Even in this meeting. Hata kwa mkutano huu. The governor was here. Liwali alikuwa hapa. 
how many ch- meetings do you have that the governor comes to? Mimi kutano ngapi umefanya alafu governor anakuja? And a realm and a level. Ni mambo mengine ni viwango of ministry. Ya huduma. Everybody say transformation. Sema mabadiliko. How does this transformation come? Yanafanyika namna gani? A book. Kitabu. Yeah. Yeah. My life and ministry was changed by a book. Maisha yangu na huduma ilibadilishwa yes. na vitabu. And I want to recommend books to you. Taka niwapendekezeeni vitabu. I give all my books free including today. Ninapeanaga vitabu vyangu bure hata leo. E- e-books. Hivi vitabu on your via... iPad I give you 100. Nitapeana 100 bure kwa mitandao. I, I, my book is not a business. Vitabu vyangu sio biashara. Yes. Ndio. My books are not a business. Sio biashara. It's my ministry. Ni huduma yangu. I know what a book will do to you. Mimi najua vile kitabu kitakufanyia. I'm trying to share something with you. Taka nishiriki kitu na wewe. Something powerful can change in your life. Kitu cha uwezo kibadilike maisha ni mwako. Yes. Ndio. Yes. That's why I give it free. Ndipo sana kupatia bure. Ghana everywhere I give free everybody 100 books. Kila mahali napeana bure vitabu 100. Yes. That's a blessing. Hiyo ni baraka. So by the grace of God Kwa neema ya Mungu your ministry is being transformed. Huduma yako inabadilika. You may be seated. Naweza kuketi. Number 3. Ya tatu. Key to transformation. Funguo ya mabadiliko. 2 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 18. Wa Korintho wa pili sura ya tatu na aya ya 18. This is the third. The first key to transformation is what a vision. Funguo la kwanza la mabadiliko tulisema ni maono. The second key to transformation is what? Funguo Books. ya pili ni kitabu. And the third key to transformation is what? Na ya tatu ni nini? Beholding the glory. Kutazama utukufu. Amen. Amen. Now, what is beholding the glory? Sasa kutazama utukufu ni namanisha nini? It says we all everybody are you watching Jim natazama kwenye runinga open face sote na uso usio beholding us in a glass tukitazama kama kwenye kio amen mm-hmm. the glory of the lord utukufu wa bwana are changed everybody say changed sema kubadilishwa that's the word metamorphosis hilo ndilo neno la kiunani kubadilishwa your ministry can metamorphose I totally huduma yako inaweza kubadilika kabisa Totally. Kabisa. Totally. Kabisa. It can change radically. Linaweza kubadilika kabisa. Oh yes. Ndiyo. My ministry was in a classroom in a school. Huduma yangu ilianzia kwa shule darasani. I am originally a classroom pastor. Mimi mwanzo ni mchungaji wa darasa. My whole church was in a classroom with chairs and tables. Kanisa langu lote lilikuwa nimekomboa shule darasa moja. So I have experienced transformation. Kwa hivyo mimi nimepata mabadiliko. Yes. Ndio. Transformation. Kubadilishwa. My church was only student. Nobody in the church had even a car. Hakuna mtu kwa kanisa letu hata alikuwa na gari. When you come to the church unless you come inside the classroom you will not know that there is a church. Hata ukikuja kanisani lazima uingie kwa darasa uwezi kujua kuna kanisa. My church had only students. Kanisa langu lilikuwa tu ni wanafunzi. No important person was in the church. Hakukuwa na watu wa maana kanisani. Hey, hey. But you can be changed. Lakini unaweza kubadilishwa. Do you want to know the key of transformation? Je, unataka kujua kifungu cha mabadiliko? This is the key. Look at the key. Angalia hii ndio ufungu. It says you are changed. Me, eh? me. By beholding beholding or looking at the glory Yaani unabadilishwa kwa kutazama utukufu of the Lord wa Bwana. Now the beauty uzuri. Change the version please. Change the version. Change the version please. Patie tafsiri hiyo nyingine. Okay. No change it again. Not this one is. Badilisha not. tena. So all of us can see and reflect the glory of God. Okay? Change the version again. Badilisha tena. Yeah. Ndio. All of us with unveil because we continue to behold in the word of God as in a mirror the glory of the Lord are constantly being transfigured into his own very image in the ever increasing splendor. But just go back to King James. 
King James is simpler now. Rudi tu katika tafsiri ama version ya tafsiri ya with open face na uso holding the glory. Uso usiofunikwa tukitazama utukufu. When you look at ugly things you become ugly. Ukitazama vitu visivyopendeza hata wewe hautapendeza. When you look at beautiful things you become what you are looking at. Ukiangalia vitu vinavyopendeza unafanyika unachotazama. Oh yes. Ndio. When you behold the glory, ukitazama utukufu, you start to become like what you are looking at. Unaanza kuonekana ama kufanyika kama kile unachotazama. Now there are many people who just look at the ugliness. Kuna watu wengine ambao macho yao yanaangalia vitu vibaya. The faults, makosa, the problems, matabu, the difficulties, visivyowezekana, the shortcomings. Mapungufu. But God wants you to behold the glory. Lakini Mungu anataka utazame utukufu. Do you think Bonke had no faults? Je, unafikiri Bonke hakuwa na upungufu? Do you think he had no faults? Unafikiri hakuwa na makosa? You think he had no faults? He had faults. We unafikiri hakuwa na makosa? Alikuwa nayo. I don't know. I don't I don't even care if he had faults. Mimi hata sikujali. For me I look at the glory and the beauty of the Lord in that ministry. That Mi, is all that I'm looking at. Mimi nilikuwa My nanga. eyes are fixed on the beauty of God in a ministry. Macho yangu yalikamia utukufu na uzuri wa Mungu katika huduma hiyo. Yeah. Ndio. I want to say that those who are going to be changed here. Nataka kusema watakao those who look at the glory Watakao badilishwa hapa ni look, wale look, wana... look, at, look at the Bible verse. It says we as we behold Angali... as we look at the beauty as we look at the glory Biblia... we are changed. Biblia inasema tunapoangalia utukufu tunapoangalia tunabadilishwa. As I have come kama vile don't nime... look at don't look for faults usinitaftie makosa in in me ndani yangu. That's not going to change you. Hiyo haitakubadilisha. Look at the glory. Angalia utukufu of Jesus. Wa Yesu in the ministry that is here today. Katika huduma iliyo hapa leo. And then you as you continue looking at it. Na unapoendelea kuitazama. You you start to get changed. Utaanza kubadilika into the same you become the same thing. Utafanyika kile kile. Yes. yes. Ndio. Yes. Think about it. Hebu fikiria kuihusu. How many Kenyan pastors? Ni wa Kenya wa Do you know who are holding crusades? Ni waingilisti wangapi wa Kenya unajua wanaweza kufanya nations. Wanafanya mikutano kwa mataifa mengine. I don't know any. Sijui yeyote. So if I have come here, kama nimekuja hapa, at least try to see something if not in many things, maybe one thing. Jaribu tu that, is, that has the glory of God. Maybe just one thing. Tafuta tu kitu kimoja ambacho utaona kina utukufu. Kimoja tu. Yes. Ndio. Instead of seeing something negative, badala ya kuona vitu visivyo sawa. That's not going to change you. Hiyo haitakubadilisha. You change into the image that you keep behold. So if you keep looking at the faults that we have, and I'm sure we have some faults, you are going to be changed into something horrible. Wewe unafanyika kile ambacho unatazama. Kwa hivyo kama utakuwa kiangalia makosa yetu, basi utabadilika kuwa kitu cha kushangaza. Those who look at Bishop Oyedepo for instance in Nigeria with his mega church and see the beauty and the amazing wonderfulness of such a mega church they are the ones who are like me my ministry is changing as i look at the glory of his ministry wanaotazama kwa mfano mchungaji david oyedepo na kuangalia huduma yake iliyo kubwa sana kule nigeria na wanaipenda wanabadilika na huduma zao zinaweza kuonja ule utamu uliyo pale oh yes ndio yes ndio behold the beauty tazama if you come to kenya you can see many good things but you can also see many negative things Kija Kenya. It depends on where your eye sees. Inategemea macho yako yameangalia wapi. That's why Jesus told that you have to have a single eye. Ndipo Yesu akasema lazima uwe una macho mazuri. For me, 
kwangu this apostle kimani right here huyu ni mtume kimani hapa so me i only see the glory of him mimi naona utukufu i am sure he has faults najua na mapungufu i'm sure he has problems najua na shida i'm sure maybe there are some things he hasn't done well najua kuna vitu hajafanya vile angetaka i don't know what he has I don't, I don't, I, i'm not interested in that he says you sort himself out with god <laughs> mimi sina shida na hiyo hiyo wataongea na mungu the, i am looking at the glory mimi naangalia utukufu wa mungu Yeah, the glory of the lord tukufu wa mungu yeah i Me. i am seeing that i mean you can build a church that is like a, what a, a theater in london this is like a theater in london yeah what is that theater called in london royal albert hall, royal albert hall or uh, what are the other places in yeah <laughs> carnegie hall yes I mean, to me I'm seeing something wonderful. Me I don't know how your eyes work. Are your eyes working well? Is there a problem? Have you got a problem with your eyes? Sisi macho yako inafanya kazi namna gani kwa sababu mimi naona kitu kizuri. Every pastor should have glasses and eyes to see glory. Kila mchungaji anahitaji macho nne ya kuona utukufu. Utukufu, 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 utukufu. Always see glory. Ona utukufu glory. kila wakati. Ona utukufu kila wakati. You know sometimes I send some of my missionaries. Kati mwingine natuma wa missionary wangu. Uh, sometimes they have this struggle. Kati mwingine wanangangana. You know, wanangangana. They struggle sometimes the church doesn't grow as you want it to grow. But they don't know how I see them. I see the wonderfulness of the effort that they've made with their lives to serve the lord sometimes in other nations i see them so i see them as the greatest people in our church yes yani na watuma that's how i see if even if you na viona i saw seeing if you ndivyo na viona na watuma wachungaji waende wafungue makanisa na wakati mwingine wanapata mateso au mashida kanisa halikui wanaona ni kama wafanyi vizuri lakini mimi ninaona kujitolea na bidii wanayofanya wengine wamevuka mipaka ya mataifa kwenda kutumikia bwana ninaona utukufu ndani yao oh yes ndio many years ago miaka mingi iliyopita i was a student nilikuwa mwanafunzi in uh, medical school katika shule ya udaktari my doctor is not an email uh, doctor da- <laughs> oh cheti chake ama shahada yake ya udaktari sio ile ya kununua kwa mitandao Seven years in the university miaka saba katika chuo kikuu and one day i was in um, at the last my final year na mwaka wangu wa mwisho shuleni and there was a man called Kenneth Hagin na kuna mtu aliitwa Kenneth Higgin. He was a great prophet. To... Alikuwa nabii mkubwa sana. And a teacher na mwalimu. Yes, ndio. <laughs> And uh, I just enjoyed listening to him. Na nikafurahia sana kumsikiza. You know, yes. I found him the greatest prophet. Mimi nikamhesabu kama nabii mkubwa sana. Somebody whom Jesus could appear to and talk to him for two hours. Mtu ambaye Yesu angemtokea na amzungumzie masaa yeah. mawili. If you are interested you can read I believe in visions by Kenneth Hagin. Kama ungetaka unaweza kusoma kitabu kinachoitwa Naamini maono na so, mhubiri huo. From the age of uh, maybe 18 I don't know. Kwa, I started to hear of him. Kuanzia miaka 18 nilisikia habari zake. And I've never I could never hear anything bad about him. Nasijawa. Only to me that he was so great. Yaani kwangu alikuwa ni mtu mkubwa sana. Sikuwahi kusikia kitu kibaya kumhusu. So one day, siku moja, in my final year, kwa mwaka wa mwisho, I was in a town nilikuwa, outside the capital. Nilikuwa kwa mji ambao uko nje na mji mkuu. And I had one month to be there. Nilikuwa na mwezi mmoja pale. In a hospital to work. Katika hospitali nikifanya kazi. When I was there, one night I was praying. Kumoja naomba. And I knelt down. Kapiga magoti. I knelt down. Nikapiga magoti to pray. Niombe. But I fell asleep. Lakini nikalala. Has it happened to you before? Je, imewahi kukufanikia? I fell asleep. Nikalala. And Kenneth Hagin was in the room preaching there was a tape recorder. Na kulikuwa na redio inayozungumza mchungaji yes. Hagin anahubiri. I just like to have his voice talking it's like radio to me. Mimi nitaka tu sauti yake iwe inaongea kwangu kama radio. And I fell asleep. Nikalala. Then I woke up. Kamka. At about 3 a.m. Saa 9 asubuhi. 
And I just continued praying. And suddenly, are you listening to me? Suddenly, something jumped out of the tape. And entered my belly. I felt something going into me. And then I heard a voice. And the voice said, from today, this is 1988, from today, you can teach. That was all. From today you can teach. Kwanzia leo unaweza fundisha. And from that moment, kutoka wakati huo, I received nikapokea and I was changed. Na nikabadilishwa an anointing upako to teach. Wa kufundisha. Sasa kama I'm teaching. Si mimi nafundisha. Am I not in Nakuru? Si mimi niko Nakuru sasa. Am I not teaching? Mimi sifundishi? Yes. Nafundisha. 30 35 Years later. Meaka 35 baadaye. Is it 35? 35 years later. Meaka 35 baadaye. Almost 40 to 50 million books. Zaidi ya vitabu yeah. milioni 50. From that day, kutoka siku hiyo. And what was, what was I looking at? I was beholding you see Kenneth was just a wonderful person to me. Unajua kwangu alikuwa ni mtu wa ajabu sana. But I can tell you he's not a wonderful person to everybody. Lakini yakuwa mtu wa ajabu kwa kila mtu. One day I met a man who told me that Kenneth Hagin is is a false is is a false uh, man and that he's a liar and that his books are just uh, he has copied people he's guilty of this that many things. I hmm? said wow. What are you saying? And I saw so, and because I told him how I was blessed by Kenneth, he was trying to tell me negative things to, to, to I, and then he gave me a book. He said, you read this book. Read this book about him. Read it. I said, what? He said, somebody has written a whole book. I said, wow. I opened the book once. Kafuga. When I opened the book, I saw something wonderful about Kenneth. He said, wow. He is able to maneuver between the prophetic and the word of God in an amazing way. I said, wow! I saw something rather good about the man. <laughs> admiration! Admiration! I was beholding the glory. I keep my eyes on the glory. I keep my eyes on the glory. Keep your eyes on the beauty. Keep your eyes on the beauty. There are problems everywhere. Kuna shida kila mahali. But keep your eyes. Weka macho yako. On the beauty. Kwa uzuri. You know, when you are learning how to drive. Unapojifundisha kuendesha. You you will not know. Hautajua that you have to keep your eyes. Ya kwamba utaweka. Ya tunahitaji macho yaangalie mbele. So when you learn to drive, when you are driving you Unapoendesha gari. Hey, look at that you turn the car. Unaona gari limetoka tena unarudisha. You keep looking at that. You have to learn Lazima ujifundishe. When someone say, have you seen that? Mtu akwambia umeona hiyo unasema hapana. I can't see. Siwezi ona. I can't tell my eyes. Siwezi pindua macho. Because I'm driving. Naendesha. And I need to look straight. Nahitaji kuangalia mbele. No matter what you say. Haijalishi nasema ni. Wow, look at that. Tiangalia hiyo. I have to keep my eyes on the Macho yangu yaangalie mbele. Macho yangu. And that is what every pastor must do. Na hiyo ndio kila. Keep your eyes on the beauty. Weka macho yako kwa uzuri. Keep your eyes on the glory. Elekeza macho kwa utukufu. And you will be changed. Na utabadilika. And change. Badilike. And change. Badilike. And change. Badilike. And change. Ubadilike. Yes. Ndio. Don't be don't be religious Pharisees. Usiwe farisayo wa kidini. Those of you who have been pastors for a long time. Nyinyi ambao umechunga muda mrefu, you are in danger of becoming Pharisees. Muko kwa hatari ya kufanyika mafarisayo. Yes. Eh? Remember Jesus was not killed by murderer. He was not killed by 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 robbers and by thieves. He was killed by pastors. Wewe, Yesu hakuuawa ni wakora, aliuawa ni wachungaji. Yes. Eh? When you have stayed in religion for a long time, you can become the most evil group of people you can ever imagine. Ukikaa kwa dini muda mrefu unaweza kuwa mtu muovu zaidi hata ya mtu unayeweza kufikiria. Stand to your feet everybody. Simama kwa miguu yako kila mtu. Have you fallen asleep? Mulisinzia. 
How many remember these three keys for transformation? Wangapi wanakumbuka funguo hizo tatu za mabadiliko? Lift your holy hands right now, transformation. Inua mikono yako mitakatifu juu sasa. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. For these amazing revelations. Kwa sababu ya mafunuo haya ya kushangaza. Transformation. Kwa habari za mageuzi. We give you praise. Tuwakupa sifa. We give you praise. Receive anointing for Pokeo transformation. Pokea pako wa kugeuzwa. Oh yes. Ndiyo. Yes. Ndiyo. What a transformation. Ni mageuzi ya inagani. What a transformation. Ni mabadiliko ya inagani. What a transformation. Mabadiliko ya inagani. What a transformation. Mabadiliko ya inagani. Of your ministry. Ya uduma yako. Of your life. Ya maisha yako. Madaz Marananja. Rakina. Palende Merigeze Mojindala. Rabana. Maibandel Mezunda. Tele Mendele Kebele Mendele Mandola Mambara Mandala Mandala Bara Membe Sanala Mandara Mindo Shendele Mandara Kabarandala Babanda In the mighty name of Jesus 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 How many believe that your finances in your ministry is transforming also Wangapi wanaamini hata sadaka inabadilika kanisani tena Taking place taking place inafanyika sasa inafanyika in the mighty name of Jesus. Kwa jina kula Yesu. In the mighty name of Jesus. Kwa jina kula Yesu. Father, thank you. Baba asante. For your blessing. Kwa baraka zako. In Jesus name. Kwa jina la Yesu. Sit down for a moment please. Hebu keti kwa dakika kidogo. Now before we um, share the grace. Kabla tu seme maneno ya neema. I just want to share with you for 5 minutes. Taka niseme na nyinyi kwa dakika tano about demons demons that are going to prevent try to prevent your transformation Taka nitaje mapepo Number 1 yatakayobadikataa ubadilike The spirit of Lucifer Ya kwanza ni roho ya Luciferi Amen Amen Lucifer Luciferi Yes ndio One day siku moja one of my pastors had a dream. Moja wachungaji wangu akaona ndoto. In the ndoto. dream, katika ndoto, he was sleeping. Alikuwa analala. And suddenly a creature ghafla kiume to his window. Kikaja kwenye dirisha lake. Are you listening to me? Je, mnanisikiza? Open the window. Likafungua dirisha. Came into the room. Kaingia kwenye nyumba and then opened his heart. Kafungua moyo wake and put something into the heart. Kaweka kitu kwenye moyo wake. Close it back. Kafunga moyo. And run out through the window. Na likakimbia likitoka kwa dirisha. And when he woke up, alipoamka, he realized that God had spoken to him. Akagundua Mungu amemzungumza. The devil wanted to put something into his heart. Kwamba shetani alitaka kuweka kitu kwa moyo wake. Beginning from today, kuanzia leo, do not allow any demon, any any evil thought to be implanted in you. Usiruhusu wazo lolote ovu lipandwe ndani yako. Lucifer was in heaven. Lucifer alikuwa binguni with other angels. Na malaika wengine. And he says until iniquity was found in you. Na Biblia inasema hadi wakati uovu ulipatikana ndani yake. There are men here. Kuna watu hapa. Satan will want to put something in your mind. Shetani angetaka kuweka kitu kwa mawazo yako. Something in your heart. Kitu kwa moyo wako. That will make you change completely. Ambayo itakufanya ubadilike kabisa. And become a devil. Na uwe shetani. And unrecognizable devil. Na uwe pepo mchafu asiyeweza kutambulika. But from today, lakini kuanzia leo, the spirit of Lucifer, roho wa Lucifer, who separates himself, anayejitenga from the glory of God, toka kwa utukufu wa Mungu, will never succeed in your life. Hatafanikiwa katika maisha yako. Tell your neighbor don't be a Lucifer. Ambia jirani yako usiwe Luciferi. Who separates himself, anayejitenga. Number 2, ya pili, the spirit of false prophecy. Roho ya unabii wa uongo it will fight your transformation itapingana na kubadilika kwako yes ndio in first kings 22 katika wafalme wa kwanza 22 the lord said bwana akasema who shall persuade ahab ni nani atakayemshawishi ahabu 
and there came a fourth spirit na akatokea roho and stood before the lord kasimama mbele za bwana and said Kasema, i will persuade him mimi nitamshawishi first kings 2021 wa falmo wa pili 2021 yes ndio that it was an evil spirit ilikuwa ni roho mchafu that said aliyesema i will persuade him mimi nitamshawishi yeah ndio Many good pastors are persuaded by evil spirits. Wachungaji wengi wazuri wanashawishiwa na maroho machafu. Yes. Ndio. To do the wrong thing. Kufanya mambo mabaya. Yeah. Ndio. So those who live wale wanaoishi. Look at it. Angalia hiyo. There came a spirit. Akaja roho and stood before the Lord. Kasimama mbele za Bwana and said. Kasema I will persuade him. Mimi nitamshawishi. My goodness. Mungu wangu. May every spirit evil demon spirit that wants to persuade you to turn into a rebel, a Lucifer, a kind of wicked person in the name of Jesus, it will not succeed. Nasema mapepo yote ambayo yanajaribu kukuhadaa ya kushawishi ya kubadilishe uwe mwasi uwe kama luciferi hayatafanikiwa katika jina la Yesu When I leave some some spirit will come to persuade some people to leave this church Nitakapoondoka baadhi ya mapepo yatakuja kuwashawishi watu wahame kanisa hili That is why I'm teaching you Na ndipo sana wafundisha Is it certain thoughts that are coming to your mind they are spirits wazo la pili linalokuja kwenye mawazo yako ni miroho that's why the bible says casting down imaginations the, the weapons of our warfare are to cast down imagination certain ideas certain thought they are from satan i'm telling you niposa maandiko yanasema tukiangusha kila ngome aina fulani ya mawazo yanayotujia nataka niwajulishe yanatoka kwa shetani wow Number three. Ya tatu. The third spirit. Roho wa tatu. Don't let it spoil your transformation. Usiruhusu yaribu mabadiliko yako. The spirit of greed. Ni yule roho wa tamaa. First Peter 5 verse 2. Petero wa kwanza tano aya ya pili. Look at it. Angalia hiyo. First Peter 5 and verse 2. Petero wa kwanza tano na aya ya pili. Change the version. Badilisha tafsiri. Change the version. Badilisha hiyo tafsiri. Care for the flock. Chunga kondoo. Watch over it willingly, not gradually, not for what you will get out of it, but because you are eager to serve God. Chunga kondoo kwa bidii, sio kwa sababu ya kile utakachopata kutoka kwao, lakini kwa sababu na bidii ya kumtumikia Mungu. Change the version. Badilisha tafsiri. Hmm? Hmm? Watch over the flock. All right? ERV. Yeah. Because you want to, not because you are forced to. That is how God wants it. Do it because you are happy to serve and not because you want money. <laughs> ifanye si kana kwamba unalazimishwa, ifanye si kwamba unataka pesa. We once had a crusade in a certain town and the uh, the pastors who were supposed to join they wanted money tulikuwa tufanye mkutano mahali fulani na wachungaji waliopaswa kutusaidia wanataka pesa we went to a certain town they said give us uh, 20000 dollars we'll give you 4000 ashes tukaenda kwa mji mwingine wakatuma tupatie dola 1200 tutapatia mashemanzi 1500 we went to a certain town they said what are you giving us Tukaenda mji mwingine wakauliza mnatupa nini? Said, this American evangelist came, he gave laptops to all the members of the committees and the chairman of the committee got a car. Wakasema kuna huyu mwinjilisti wa kutoka Marekani alikuja, akapea wanakamati wote tarakinishi na yule mwenye kiti akapewa gari. Went to another town they said, how much each of us? What are you giving us? This man is bringing this. What are you giving us? Tukaenda mji mwingine akasema unatupatia nini? 
when you go preaching where americans have gone before you you have all these problems and kenya is one of those places where you have a lot of visitors from america because in america they think africa is kenya they say oh, i'm going to africa they say kenya they don't usually say togo or benin kama unaenda kuhubiri mahali wazungu walitangulia utapata shida za aina hiyo na hapa Kenya kumekuwa na wazungu wengi sana wakija wakiwa ngambo wakienda Afrika wanafikiria Kenya ndiyo Afrika hawajui Ethiopia yeah so if you are a pastor here you are trying to get money out of a foreign crusade you are not a good pastor sasa kama wewe ni mchungaji hapa unataka upate pesa kutoka kwa mgeni wewe sio mchungaji mzuri You know anything you do for money kila kitu unafanya ndio ulipwe it changes itabadilika you see look if you are a doctor kama wewe ni daktari and you are doing the doctoring for money na unafanya udaktari tu kwa sababu ya pesa it changes inabadilika because a woman will come to deliver a baby mama atakuja nataka kujifungua normally to deliver a normal vaginal delivery it will be maybe 1000 shillings kule kujifungua kwa kawaida ni pengine elfu moja ama ni bure but then because you want to get something from her lakini kwa sababu wewe unataka you pesa say, oh you, your baby is not coming nasema mtoto wako haji we have to operate lazima tukupasue mm. ah because when you operate unapompasua instead of free badala ya bure is now how much sasa ni pesa ngapi 100,000 100,000 shillings maelfu ya pesa then they will also stay in your hospital alafu atakaa kwa hospitali every night is ama 10,000 kila usiku ni 10,000 and then instead of letting her go home quickly badala ya kumtuma nyumbani haraka because you want to get more money you, you have to stay till next week kwa sababu unataka pesa unamwambia kamba kajuma lijalo and your whole medical practice changes na ule utabibu wako wote unabadilika. Yes. Ndio. Every profession is like that. Kila taaluma ni ya aina If hiyo. If you do it for money. Kama unaifanya kwa ajili ya pesa. It changes. Inabadilika. Whether whatever the profession is. Haijalishi ni taaluma gani ulionayo. Yes. Ndio. And the pastoral is the same. Na uchungaji ni vile vile. If you do it for money. Kifanya kwa pesa. You're trying to get money. Takupata pesa. You cannot minister well. Awezi kudumu vizuri. Yes. Ndio. One one time a pastor was preaching and he began to prophesy. Mhubiri mmoja alikuwa anahubiri akaanza kutabiri. Say you. Wewe. I see in the realm of the spirit. Naona katika ulimwengu wa roho. You are going on a mission to Paris. Unaenda kwa misheni kule Paris. The pastor stood up and said I receive it. Mchungaji akasimama akasema napokea. Then he saw another pastor. Kaona mchungaji mwingine. You I see you on a mission to California. Wewe naona ukienda California. The pastor stood up and said katala bashara I receive. Mchungaji akainuka akaongea kwa ndimi nimepokea. Then he pointed to another one said you I see you on a mission to Hamburg that is in Germany. Mwingine nakuona Ujerumani. Thank you Jesus. Kasema asante Yesu. Then he looked at another pastor and said you wewe I see you on a mission to Togo. Naona wewe ukienda Togo. The pastor said God forbid. Pastor ule akasema Mungu akatae. Satan I rebuke you in the name Shetani of Jesus. Shetani nakukemea katika jina. Refuse every negative confession. Nakataa kila unabii wa uongo. Why? Kwa nini? Why? Kwa nini? What is wrong with Togo? Shida iko nini na Togo? Are there no souls there? Je, hakuna watu kule? You see but the church has become money oriented. Kanisa limekuwa la kusukumwa na pesa. We go to places where there are no money. Atuendi mahali ambapo hakuna pesa. But other religions lakini dini zingine are going to places where there is a lot of poverty. Zinaenda kwenye umaskini mwingi. We Christians we are only in the capital cities. Sisi wa Kristo tuko kwa miji mikuu. There are more churches in Nairobi that need to that don't I mean far more than in many parts of Kenya where we need churches kuna makanisa mengi yamesongamana Nairobi kuliko kwingi kwingi kwa nchi tunahitaji makanisa so do the work of god but don't do it for money fanya kazi ya mungu lakini usifanye kwa ajili ya pesa oh yes ndio yes. you even have pastors tuna wachungaji wengine who even will go to court wataenda kotini to try to get money kujaribu kupata pesa yes. It's amazing. Inashangaza. Yeah. Mm. It's amazing. Inashangaza. You have to be careful. Lazima uwe makini. So, kwa hivyo, please 
Don't do this work for money. Tafadhali usifanye kazi hii kwa sababu ya pesa. Otherwise you are a vampire. Kama zivyo basi wewe ni jinamizi. A vampire. Wewe ni jinamizi. You want to suck the blood. Unataka kunyonya damu ya watu. Of the people. Ya watu and take their lives. Na uchukue maisha yao. Do you think we came here for money? Je, mnafikiri tumekuja hapa kuchukua pesa? Do you think we came here for money? Mnafikiri tumekuja kuchukua pesa? Which money? Pesa gani? We know Kenya already. Si tunajua Kenya. We know how you give offerings. Tunajua vile mnatoa sadaka? Yes. Tunajua. The offering here is almost zero. Sadaka ya hapa almost Kenya zero. ni karibu sufuri. We know already we have been here before. Tunajua. Yes. Hii mambo tunajua. Almost zero. Uh, mtoi sadaka you can have 10000 people offering you be 100 dollars unaweza kuwa na washirika 1000 lakini sadaka ni dola 100 let god liberate you si mungu atuweke huru so that you relate with people ili tuhusiane na watu because of money sio kwa sababu ya pesa when i met my wife nilipokutana na mke wangu when i met my i never related up with money mimi si kutaka kumvutia na pesa some of you you only know how to love with money Wengine wenyu hamjui kupenda bila pesa. I buy shoes for you. Takununulia kiatu. I buy dresses for you. Takununulia mavazi. I buy gold for you. Takununulia hii. Then you feel love. Alafu unasikia umependwa. What about if the money gets finished? Na pesa ikikwisha je? Then the love is finished. Upendo umekwisha. When the money is finished the love is finished. Pesa ikiisha upendo umeisha. Somebody's got to be wazimu. Mtu pale ana shida ya kichwa. Thou shall love the Lord thy God. I should be here for the love that I have for God. Napaswa niwe hapa kwa sababu ya upendo nilionao kwa Mungu. I should be here for the love that I have for God. Oh God, I'm oh, I hope I'm obeying you as I am here. This, ha- this is the only reason why I, I, I hope I'm here. Sababu ambayo ni ya kweli kabisa imenileta hapa natumai ni kwa sababu ya upendo nilionao kwa Mungu. If you love me keep my commandments. Kama unanipenda mnitii. If you love me feed my sheep. Kama unanipenda lisha kondo wangu. One day a pastor, a young pastor, he saw a lady. Hey, she looked prosperous. Siku moja kijana mmoja mchungaji akaona dada anaonekana ana mali. So he thought. Kafikiri this is a good one to marry. Huyu ni mzuri wa kuoa. So he married her. Kwa hivyo akamwoa. Hey. Hey. The trouble that he saw, she da liona. I mean the lady could just You see because his eyes were on her money. Unajua macho yake ilitazama pesa yake and her family's money. Na pesa ya familia yake. Yeah. Ndio. When I was getting married my wife, I didn't know that her family was a, a wealthy family. Mimi nilipokuwa nikioa mke wangu sikujua jamii yao wana pesa. It was a wealthy family. Ni jamii na pesa. But I didn't know. Kini sikujua? I didn't I didn't like her because of her family's money. Mimi sikuvutiwa kwake na pesa ya jamii. Anyway, so this guy, sasa huyu mtu, ah after she had the children, baada ya kupata watoto, she became wilder. Akawa sasa mnyama. And one day she decided to sack the pastor. Siku moja akaamua kuvuta mchungaji from the house kutoka kwa nyumba she said walk out of this house sema toka kwa nyumba hii the rich woman yule mama tajiri that as he was going alipokuwa akienda humbly with his tail between his legs akiwa na mkia umewekwa katikati ya miguu she said she said wait kasema ngojea then kwa hivyo she climbed uh, one of the chairs akapanda juu ya kiti in the sitting room kwa nyumba ya kukulia and then she picked the, the wall clock akachukua saa ya ukuta that was up there mbaya ilikuwa juu took it off kaitoa and she gave it to him kampatia mchungaji take this chukua hii this is all you brought to the marriage hii ndio ulileta kwa ndoa and she gave him the clock kampatia saa ya ukuta <laughs> oh yes ndio yes ndio this is all you brought hii ndio ulileta kuna kitu ulikuja yeah. naye it's a true story hii ni hadithi ya kweli ya kweli yeah yeah wow. don't keep your eyes on the money Usiweke macho yako kwa pesa. Your eyes are on the wrong thing. Macho yako yanatazama vitu visivyo vya kweli. Some of you as you see us here you think we have money. Wengine wenu mkituangalia hapa mnafikiri tuna pesa. Ah, your eyes are on the wrong thing. Macho yenu imepotea mwelekeo. Yes. Mm. And you want to get as much out of us as possible. Na mngetaka kutunyonya kabisa vile mnaweza. That's why we cancel some crusades. Ndipo sasa wakati mwingine tunasimamisha mikutano mingine. Oh yes. Eh? Oh yes. Ndio. 
Be careful when it comes to money. Hebu jiangalie sana kwa habari za pesa. Let your heart be free. Wacha moyo wako uwe huru. Don't preach for money. Usihubiri kwa sababu ya pesa. Don't travel for money. Usisafiri kwa sababu ya pesa. Don't go places because of money. Usiende mahali ndio ulipwe. Minister for Jesus. Hudumu kwa sababu ya Yesu. Jesus. Penda Yesu. Look at the name of this church. Hebu angalia jina la kanisa hili. And I'm going to I tell you this name I'm jealous of it. It says Kingdom Seekers Fellowship. Hebu angalia jina la kanisa hili. Ili jina ninalitama hii nitafanya kitu na hii jina. Seek Kingdom. Seek Ta- Kingdom. Tafuta seek money. You tafute ustafute no, pesa, no, no. tafuta ufalme. No, no. Ndio. Yes. And then all these things. I love you to live in Guinea. That people are dying for they will be added. They will be added. You even want it to be too much for you. Yaani itakuzidi hata itakuwa nyingi sana kwako. Amen. Amen. Beautiful. Ya ajabu. So, kwa hivyo, check with your neighbor. Are you one of those money seeking pastors? I ask your neighbor. Are you one of jirani, uliza jirani, pastors? wewe ni wale wachungaji wa kulipwa. Anasemaje? Money is the root of all breakaways. Pesa ndio mizizi ya mikosano yote. Oh yes. Ndio. Money is the root of all almost every pastor who leaves I'm leaving this church I'm going here money is at the root of many many the Bible says money is the root of all evil and it is at the root of all these breakouts all of them they are all looking for money Yaani wachungaji ambao unasikia nimehama ikanisa nimeenda kuanzia yangu chini yake kuna misingi ya pesa Elisha Elisha when he followed Elijah alipofuata Elia look you are making me talk too long elisha <laughs> elisha when he was following elijah alipokuwa akifuata elijah he said alisema elisha elisha what do you want elisha unataka nini what do you want unataka nini some of you would have said ah, i want your house elijah wengine wengi wangesema nataka nyumba yako elijah some of you would have said i want your car wengine wangesema nataka gari lako yes ndio some of you would have said i want your wife wengine wangesema nataka mke wako Hey, hey. But what did Elijah say? Elisha say. Elisha alisema nini? I want your anointing. Nataka upako wako. Times two. Mara mbili. This is all that you need. Hii ndio unahitaji. I just want the anointing that is on your life. Mimi nataka upako ulio kwa maisha yako. Now, sasa, many years later, miaka mingi baadaye, Elisha continued Elisha kaendele. Elijah was gone. Elijah ameenda. And he had a servant called Gehazi. Na akawa na mtumishi anaitwa Gehazi. And Gehazi's eye was on money. Na macho ya Gehazi liangalia pesa. So when Naaman the Syrian was healed, he ran after him and told, him, "You know my master said he forgot to tell you about the offering. You need to give some money, some clothes." And so, But Naaman said, "Oh wow, Naaman could see. Unbelievers can see." He saw to himself, "Be content. Take two. I'll give you twice of what you are asking for. Be content. Take two." Anamwambia tosheka. Do we have the Gehazi pastors of Kenya or Elisha pastors of Kenya? If Gehazi is looking for money, Elisha is looking for anointing. Je, tunawachungaji? Which one do we have in Nakuru? Tunawachu... Which one do we have in Kenya? Tunawachungaji wa gani hapa Kenya? Wa aina ya Elisha wanaotafuta upako ama aina ya Gehazi wanaotafuta pesa? Ask your neighbor, are you Gehazi or Elisha? Which one? Uliza jirani wewe wewe uko pande gani? Ni upako ama ni pesa? Are you a Gehazi or are you an Elisha? Wewe ni Gehazi ama wewe ni Elisha? When you keep your eyes on the wrong things you make a mistake. Ukiweka macho yako kwa vitu visivyo sawa utafanya makosa. One day I had a pastor. Siku moja na mchungaji He was receiving a lady to come and preach in his church. Alikuwa anapokea mwanadada aje ahubiri kanisani kwake. Yeah. Ndio. And this lady had powerful breasts. Na huyu dada alikuwa na kifua cha kuvutia. And I think nafikiri he kept looking at the 
akaendelea akaendelea kuangalia maziwa but it was in his head ilikuwa kwenye kichwa chake it's a true story hadithi ya kweli so when he went on stage alipopanda kwenye jukwa he said akasema brothers and sisters wandugu na wadada i want us to welcome taka tumwalike our sister dada wetu Reverend so and so kasisi flani flani she has very powerful breast ana maziwa ya kuvutia sana i can you believe it awezi kuamini he made a mistake akafanya makosha and he said what was in his mind na akasema kile kilikuwa kwenye mawazo yake you see this is what happens when your eye is on the wrong thing hivi ndio inafanyika macho yako yakipoteza mwelekeo Don't keep your eye on the breast. Usiweke macho kwenye maziwa. Keep your eye on the anointing. Weka macho kwenye upako. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! You see out of the abundance of the heart. Kutokana na utele wa moyo. The mouth speaks. Kinywa kinanena. Anyway. I told you it's very short. Niliwaambia so. itakuwa mfupi sana leo. Very quickly we are closing. Tunamalizia kwa haraka. Independent spirit. Roho wa kutaka kujitawala. Works in don't let an independent spirit destroy you. Usiruhu usiruhusu roho ya kutaka kujitawala ikumalize. Yes. Ndio. Yes. Ndio. Don't let an independent spirit destroy you. Usiruhusu roho ya aina hiyo ikumalize. Independence is good. Kuwa huru ni sawa but sometimes it destroys lakini wakati mwingine inaharibu many countries have been destroyed by their independence mataifa mengi yameharibiwa na uhuru wao wenyewe yes ndio many countries have been destroyed mataifa mengi number 5 ya tano. i see your transformation coming naona ukibadilika the spirit of foolishness roho ya ujinga don't let foolishness usiruhusu ujinga destroy your ministry iharibu huduma yako you are going to be transformed utabadilika you are going to be transformed utabadilika amen amen number 6 ya sita. selfishness kujipenda don't think only about yourself usifikirie tu habari zako mwenyewe amen amen don't think only about yourself usijifikirie tu kuhusu wewe mwenyewe some of you benefited from this church wengine wenu mlifaidika na kanisa hili you left to another church na ukahama ukaenda kanisa lingine and when, when you left na ulipoenda you just try to destroy where you came from unajaribu kuharibia jina lile kanisa ulitoka Ezekiel 34 verse 17 Ezekiel 34 aya ya 17 he said as for you my flock sema lakini kwenu i will judge you nitawahukumu verse 18 18 samahani verse 18 is it a small thing to you je ni jambo ndogo kwenu you have eaten the good pasture in this ministry mulikula chakula nzuri kwa huduma hii but what about the rest lakini habari ya wengine must you tread down with your feet the residue of the pastures yani lazima mkanyange chini chakula kilichobaki You drank of the deep waters mulikunywa maji ya kilindi but must you foul the residue lakini lazima muchafue maji yaliyobaki. You fouling the residue before you leave. Munachafua maji yaliyobaki kabla uhame. Change the version. Badilisha tafsiri. Change the version. Badilisha tafsiri. So you eat the grass growing on the good land. You were part of kingdom seekers. Yaani wewe ulikuwa you ate the good grass. Mwanzo ulikuwa mshirika wa kanisa hili ukakula chakula kizuri. So why do you also crush the grass that other sheep want to eat? Kwa nini unataka kuharibu nyasi ili kondoo wengine wasile? So you can drink plenty of clear water. Why do you also stir the water that other sheep want to drink? Wewe ulikunywa maji safi kwa wingi. Kwa nini unataka kuchafua maji kondo wengine wasinywe? Change the version. Badilisha tafsiri. Yes, w- must you also muddy the rest with your feet? Yaani ni lazima ukanyange chakula iliyobaki na miguu yako. Some of you you were part of this ministry. Wengine wenu mlikuwa wa kanisa hili. You used to sit here. Kuna keti hapa mbele. In the front. Mbele. The one day you decided to leave. Siku moja ukaamua kuhama. You're angry. Mekasi you going. But Men. before you left? Kabla uende. Before you left? Kabla uhame. You took out. Katoka nje. And you renate. Ukakojolea. In the front. Hapa mbele. And then you and then you apart from urinate you go. You put a 
on the on the floor of the church badala ya kumoja the whole place up and you say baba badala ya kujua ukachafua na ukaharibu kabisa na ukawaaga now anybody who comes to the church yote anayekuja kanisani and they want to be blessed takubarikiwa they smell something say mm. wanasikia kuna harufu there's something wrong kuna harufu mbaya mm. mm. there's a smell there's kuna something bad here kitu kibaya hapa this is how people behave even if you watu wanafanya some of you you were in a church wengine wenyewe mlikuwa kwa makanisa you were part of the church mlikuwa wa hiyo kanisa you blessed by the church kabarikiwa na kanisa when you left ulipohama kahara not only one place you went to another hata ukuhara mahali moja ukahama hama daria ukahara kwa kanisa you wish you could even get the pastor to open his mouth so that you, you poop into it straight into hata ulitamani unaweza kuona mdomo wa pastor uhare kwa mdomo yake yes ndio those who leave you wanao kuacha this is how they behave hivi ndivyo wanafanya do you have such things in kenya je mna shida kama hizo hapa kenya or is only in uganda ama ni uganda pekee yes ndio you are a wicked man when him to move and you call yourself apostle dr reverend na unajiita mtume mchungaji you enjoyed the church for years ulifurahia kanisa miaka mingi you were blessed in the church ulibarikiwa kwa hiyo kanisa look at the scripture angalia andiko you ate the grass in the church ulipata chakula kanisani you fed a good pastor ulipata chakula kizuri and you saw that other children and other people are going to come and benefit na ukajua wengine watakuja wasaidike so you try to spoil everything you can kaanza kuharibu kila say this say that sema hii stories he had sip fault masengenyo kutafuta mako mashitaka you came into the church in the night ulikuja kanisani usiku you came into the church when nobody was here you move around unatembea wakati hakuna mtu anakuona i go to the pulpit unaenda hata kwa madhabahu now when the pastor comes to preach ili mchungaji akija kuhubiri everybody will be looking at him kila mtu anamtazama with many stories na hadithi nyingi and ideas na mawazo and questions na maswali but the man who is standing there yule amesema wa pale you, you are blessed by him na ulibarikiwa na yeye all these years all these years all these years he was a blessing to you alikubariki and now na sasa you feel you want to leave taka kwenda and that is how you say thank you na hivyo ndio unasema asante fulfill ezekiel 34 weka verse 18 18 it the good one ulikula ile nzuri drink the clear water ukakunywa ile nzuri and the rest of it na ile ilibaki you foul it up na ichafua as much as possible vile unaweza i tell you your curse is great na kuambia laana yako ni kubwa curse is heavy laana yako ni nzito 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 heavy nzito Yeah you see the same person no nam to you say what a blessing alikuwa anasema nimebariki upako aina gani a great man mtu mkubwa a fresh oil mafuta mabichi mpako and now look at what you've done hebu angalia vile umefanya so that everyone now suspicious questioning yani wondering ki... what is happening sasa kila mtu anashuku anashangaa nini inatendeka just as you have destroyed kama vile umeharibu you shall also be destroyed hata wewe utaharibiwa that's as you have made it difficult vile umemfanyia kazi ngumu this will be 100 times more ugumu wako utazidi mara 100 that's as you have released a snare and a curse kama vile umewachilia mitego na laana zako zitazidi mara nyingi in the name of jesus katika jina la yesu Galatians chapter 4 2 verse 18. Wa Galatia 2 sura ya 18. Wow. Wow. <laughs> If I build again things which I destroy, I make myself a transgressor. Nikijenga tena vitu ambavyo mimi mwenyewe nilibomoa, basi najifanya mkosaji. Change the version. Badilisha tafsiri. No? Angalia If I rebuild what I have once destroyed. Eh? If I rebuild what I have once destroyed. 
So I destroyed and I tried to build it. Kama you destroy a church and you want to go and build a church. Yaani unaharibu kanisa ya mtu na unataka kwenda kujenga kanisa. Eh? Eh? You destroy a church. And you want to go and build a church na down the road. Kujenga kanisa kwa barabara. Somebody is got to be wazimu. Lazima mtu hiyo ni wazimu. You destroy a church and Ua, you want to go down the street. Uharibu kanisa na unataka kwenda kujenga and, and build. Atuende ujenge. You want to build? Unataka kujenga. Wazimu. Ah. Wazimu. You know many years ago I was in a church Miaka mingi nilikuwa kanisani. The assistant pastor, yule mchungaji msaidizi. When he preaches, the people clap. Anapohubiri, watu wanapiga makofi. Louder than when the senior pastor preaches. Zaidi ya vile mchungaji mkuu anapohubiri. So he thought he was more popular. So akafikiri yeye ni maarufu sana. And he printed aka chapisha a, sh- a sheet of sins. Aina ya dhambi yakaandika the senior pastor za mchungaji mkuu and came to church on Sunday I was I, I, I church I was I knew that church I was in that church they printed it and they came to church on Sunday and when you come at the door he gives you a sheet yani akachapisha makosa ya mchungaji na ukiingia kwenye mlango anakupatia karatasi the pastor has this money mchungaji ana pesa hii his shoes are made of alligators viatu hizi ni vya ngozi ya alligator this He does this, he has this money, this, many things. Vitu vingi. He gave to everybody in the church. Apatia kila mtu kanisani. Because he was leaving. Kwa sababu alikuwa anaondoka. So he just pooped on the church like that. Jaza ka hara kwa kanisa, kahara kwa kanisa. And he went down the road in London. Huko ni Uingereza. He went down the road. Akaenda barabarani. He started a church. Kaanza kanisa. He thought all the people would come to his church. Akafikiri watu wote watamfuata. Nobody came. Hakuna mtu alimfuata. And after about two, two months or so he had to close down because you can't pay the rent. <laughs> Baada ya miezi mbili akafunga kwa sababu hawezi kulipa kodi. Yeah. And the people stayed in the church. Watu wakakaa. Ka- if you love somebody you don't need to explain yourself. If, if you love you don't need to explain anything to. Unajua kama unapenda mtu si lazima ajieleze kwako. Many of these failures they start churches the church doesn't work. Watu wa aina hii wanaanzisha makanisa zinaanguka. Because of the verse. Kwa sababu ya andiko hili. If I try to rebuild what I tore down, I tore it down. You try to tear down kingdom seekers and you try to tear down lighthouse, try to tear down and then you also want to now go and build a church. You you can never do it. it yani unajari- never, that is some of you that is why your church is like a dwarf. It's like a it's like a dwarf that cannot grow. A man that cannot grow taller than two feet. Yaani kama wewe uliharibu kanisa ya mtu mwingine ukararua rarua hata kile unaanza hakiwezi kudhibitika ndipo sababu yenu hapa makanisa yenu ni madogo mafupi sana hey, hey. Look at that verse again it's an amazing verse eh huh? ni andiko ya ajabu angalia tena I rebuilt what I tore down atinijenge kile nilirarua in my anger katika hasira yangu Number seven, spirit of deception. Ya saba, ni yule roho wa udanganyifu. Don't let it spoil your transformation. Usiruhusu aharibu kubadilika kwako. And finally, na mwishowe, the spirit of ungratefulness. Yule roho wa kutoshukuru. Mm. Mm. Proverbs 17 verse 13. Mithali 17:13. Whoever rewardeth evil for good Anaelipa mema kwa mabaya evil shall never depart from his house uovu hautaondoka nyumbani mwake mm. mm-hmm. change the version badilisha tafsiri change change it badilisha tena oh yes has your pastor done something good for you Je mchungaji wako amewahi kufanyia kitu kizuri for you before? Amewahi kukuombea? Has he led you to Christ? Amekuongoza kwa Kristo? Ah? Huh? Aha. How will you pay him back? Look at this one. Utamlipa namna gani? Angalia hii. If a man pays back evil kama, for good, kama mtu atatendewa mema alipe na mabaya, evil will never leave his house. Maovu hayataondoka kwa nyumba yake. It will never leave your house. Haitahama kwa nyumba yako. 
One day I met a pastor. Siku moja nilikutana na mchungaji. And uh, he had been the right hand man of his senior pastor. Na aliwahi kuwa mtu wa karibu sana wa mchungaji wake mkuu. And not only that, but when he was married, he married the daughter like somebody who was part of the man's home. Na hiyo haitoshi wakati alipokuwa akienda kuoa akamuoa binti wa mchungaji yake akawa mtu wa nyumbani. Hey, and he, he broke the church. Lakini akapasua kanisa. Yeah. Yeah. We are talking about people that have you they, they trusted you. Tunasema you watu break the person's heart. Watu walikuamini lakini ukavunja mioyo yao. I told the pastor I said listen kambia mchungaji sikiza go back rudi and kneel down and beg na ulie na uombe msamaha yeah eh hey. because it's a case kwa sababu hiyo ni laana it's a case hiyo ni laana there are many pastors that are heavily operating under cases kuna wachungaji wengi wanafanya kazi chini ya laana nzito because you are paying back good with evil kwa sababu wewe umekuwa ukilipa mema na mabaya I think I'm going to Tanzania because these things don't apply. Hizi vitu haziko kwenu hapa naona nitaenda Tanzania. No, I think I'm in the wrong country because these topics Nafikiri niko kwa inchi ambayo sio sawa. Do you have people in Kenya who have paid back like somebody has been good to you you pay the person back with wickedness and treachery? Yaani unasema kuna mtu hapa Kenya unajua ametendewa mema akalipa kwa ubaya ukatili mambo kama hayo I remember one pastor he he came to our office he was in my assistant office when you know this is the desk and this is the door so when he came he said sit here and then the pastor was sitting behind the desk so that's the door as soon as he sat down he turned around, I said no I never sit in a room where I can't see the door <laughs> kuna mchungaji mmoja alitembea is it because of the betrayer that he has seen he, he can never sit with his back <laughs> and the door is behind him no, 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 no. in the office in the church office yani kuna mchungaji ambaye alitembea kwa ofisi ya mchungaji wangu mdogo akaketishwa kwenye kiti ambacho hakijaona mlango nje akasema sijawahi kuketi kwa kiti cha aina hii kwa sababu gani amesalitiwa sana yes ndio and i remember one guy who was in the guy, the man's church he didn't have anywhere to stay so he used to he used to sleep on the chairs in the church he, because he doesn't have a house na kumbuka mtu mmoja hana nyumba alikuwa anakaa kwa kanisa anapanga viti analalia kanisani the pastor took him and like a son mchungaji akamchukua kama mwanae yes ndio what he did to him alichomfanyia what he did to him. Kile alimfanyia. That is it is that pastor who said he turned his chair. Ni huyo mchungaji alisema alipindua kiti. I, I can't sit here. Without, I, I have to see. Siwezi keti kwa kiti ambacho sio nje. I don't know what surprise. Mimi sijui nini itanipiga butoa. It's coming to be. Ambayo inakuja kwangu. Those of you who have made yourself negative surprises. Nyinyi ambao mmejifanya watu wa kupiga watu mishangao ambayo ni mibaya. Expect many negative surprises. Eh, tarajia butoa za aina hiyo nyingi. One day a certain brother, siku moja ndugu fulani, he left the church in a great surprise. Aliacha kanisa kwa mshangao mkubwa. Shattered the pastor's heart. Akavunja moyo wa mchungaji. A few years later, miaka kadhaa baadaye, his wife got up wake akaamka in a surprise move na njia hiyo ya mshangao and she also left by surprise na pia akaamwacha kwa mshangao he was surprised but you see when is I, I remember i said this guy he's going to get many surprises na nikasema huyu jamaa atapata mishangao mingi many surprises mishangao mingi yeah ndio beginning from today kuanzia leo please if there is anybody who has been good to you kama kuna mtu amekuwa mzuri kwako don't bring a curse on your life usijiletee laana somebody was even giving you money for food before hata kuna mtu alikupatia pesa ya chakula mbele ha huh? ah somebody was preach to you before it's a good thing mtu alikuhubiria hiyo ni kitu kizuri somebody was been nice to you he's been nice to you mtu amekuwa mzuri kwako he was very nice to you remember hebu kumbuka alikuwa mzuri sana kwako Wow. 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 
there will be traitors kutakuwa na watu watakao kusaliti there are many traitors here kuna wasaliti wengi hapa yes ndio but i pray that you will try and withdraw your certificate of traitorship from today lakini naomba leo utaitisha shahada yako ya ya kusaliti leo there are traitors who have tried to build churches for years kuna watu ambao watajaribu kujenga makanisa kwa muda mrefu na ni wasaliti it's not easy for you si rahisi kwako your church is like a dwarf you see when you feed him is is very short still kanisa yako itakuwa ni kama kitu kifupi sana hata vile unaipea chakula zaidi put the scripture hai... back put the scripture back eburudi kwenye andiko hilo don't destroy those who have been good to you if you do wrong to those who were good to you you will have trouble the rest of your life <laughs> ukifanya mabaya kwa watu ambao walikuwa wazuri kwako utapata tabu maisha wow. yako yote wow. Wow. Hey. so this book where is it those who leave you kitabu yeah. hiki ambacho kinasema wale wanaokuacha yeah. that's it ndio hiyo that's what i'm preaching from this is chapter 2 of this book hii ni sura ya pili ya kitabu hiki yeah ndio the demons that operate in those who leave you mapepo yanayofanya kazi kwa watu wanaokuacha the demon that is leading you to bring curses on your life and your marriage. ni mapepo yanayokuongoza ili upate laana katika maisha yako beginning from today kuanzia leo you are going to reverse or some of you must reverse these curses wengine wenyu lazima mvute hizo laana try it's not too late amjapoteza muda sana once you are alive wakati uko hai you can correct some things unaweza kurekebisha mambo yes. go and see your fathers and then kwa baba zenu hmm? and beg them na muasihi tell them you are nothing mwambie wewe ni bure they are eh. he is your father baba yako a father is not because of age baba sio mambo ya umri is because he caused you to exist in a certain way in the ministry ni kwa sababu kuna aina fulani alikupanga katika huduma and i know a new spirit na ninajua roho mpya and a good spirit roho mzuri is going to be released atawachiliwa into the church in kenya ndani ya kanisa kenya in jesus name katika jina la yesu stand to your feet everybody inuka kwa miguu yako kila moja lift your hands weka mikono yako juu father thank you baba sante for this wonderful time of ministry. Kwa wakati huu wa ajabu wa kuhudumu. Oh, we give you thanks. Tuakupa shukrani. We give you praise. Tuakupa sifa. In the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. What a scripture. Andiko tabu na. Put it back mga. there please. I, I I'm amazed at the Bible. Mimi nashangaa vile Biblia ilivyo. It says if you do wrong to those who were good to you. Yaani ukiwafanyia vibaya wale ambao waliwahi kuwa wazuri kwako. You kwa. will have trouble. Utapata tabu for the rest of your life maisha yako yote hey is heavy hiyo ni nzito is heavy ni nzito may you be good hundred goods to somebody who has been good to you uwe na mtu mwema mara 100 kwa mtu ambaye amekuwa mwema kwako you know i have a pastor in malaysia nina mchungaji kule malaysia when he saw me aliponiona he first invited me to malaysia kwanza alinialika kule malaysia and I, I, I when i when i said why do you invite me nilipoenda nikamuuliza kwa nini unaniita mimi ni nani that he open up akafungua moyo his ministry huduma yake many many doors for me milango mingi akanifungulia and i i just saw him as a father na mimi nilimuona tu kama baba oh yes ndio and i would honor him na nitamheshimu Sometimes when it was birthday and Mo- other times kati mwingine ni siku yake ya kuzaliwa when he told his wife siku moja akaambia mke wake all these people have looked after watu wao wote nimewaangalia is this man from Ghana ni huyu mtu tu akitoka Ghana who remembers me ambaye unikumbuka and honors me na ananiheshimu yes ndio may you be one of the people kuwa mmoja katikati ya wengi who will be good ambao atakuwa mzuri to those who have been good to you kwa wale wamekuwa wema kwako don't say you have not done anything for me usiambie mtu hajakufanyia kitu kizuri and when he was dying na alipokuwa he died, alipokuwa nakufa his wife told me ke wake akaniambia he said alisema pastor chungaji prince praise for you alikuombea he said i he mentions your name alitaja jina lako praise 
mentioned my when he when she told me i i was like goose pimples over i said he he mentions your name and pray but pray for dark yani yeah, like i'm his, ch- his son alikuwa ananiombea kama mwanawe wa kuzaa i suddenly felt stronger nikahisi nina nguvu yes ndio may you have even a father who will even want to pray for you and bless you. si uwe na baba ambaye akikukumbuka atakubariki atakuombea and not somebody that when he remembers you na sio mtu ambaye akikukumbuka he wants to delete he wants to yani anatamani jina yako asiwahi kuikumbuka kwa kichwa yake he wants to forget you yani anatamani yakusahau kabisa ni kama hujawahi zaliwa yeah mm. honor your father heshima baba yako that it may be well with you ili iwe sawa na wewe and that you may live long na uishi muda mrefu on the earth katika nchi those of you watching online wengine mnaotazama kwenye mitandao learn your lessons well jifundisheni masomo yenu vizuri oh yes ndio oh yes ndio put the scripture up weka andiko tena pale kwenye kio if kama you do wrong kifanya mabaya to those kwa wale who were good to you waliokuwa wazuri kwako you will have trouble tapata shida the rest of your life maisha yako yote ya baadaye see the king james says evil will never depart tafsiri ya mfalme yakobo inasema uovu hautaondoka kwa nyumba yako it is a cause of persisting troubles yani ndio chanzo cha mateso yasiyo na mwisho lift your hands weka mikono yako juu father thank you for your mighty deliverance baba ni asante kwa ukombozi wako mkuu ukombozi mkuu in our lives kwa maisha yetu from cases toka kwa laana eternal words na maneno ya milele which cannot be broken ambayo hayawezi kuvunjwa i pray for our hearts lord naombea mioyo yetu bwana for everyone here kwa kila mmoja wetu hapa to be filled with the spirit of gratitude wakajawa na roho ya shukrani delivered from a spirit of a demon na watukomboe kwa roho ya mapepo that causes us to pay good with evil. Yanayo tusababisha tulipe mema Thank na mabaya. Asante. Thank you for many pastors. Asante kwa kufanya wachungaji. The transformation. Na kuabadilisha. Transformation through a good vision. Kuabadilisha kupitia maono mazuri. Transformation through books. Kuabadilisha kupitia vitabu. Transformation through beholding the glory. Na kuabadilisha kupitia kutazama utukufu. And deliverance from every power that makes us to cancel our transformation na ukombozi kutokana na nguvu zote zinazotufanya tubadilishe mambo bless kenya lord bariki kenya bwana bless the churches bariki makanisa bless the pastors bariki wachungaji let there be healing wacha kuwe na uponyaji let there be harmony kuwe na umoja let there be restoration kuwe na urejesho let the church in kenya become an international church wacha kanisa la kenya liwe kanisa la kimataifa bless ministry lord bariki huduma an overflowing ministry lord huduma inayotiririka a missionary church lord kanisa la ukimisheni i will send missionaries litakalotuma watu the ends of the world kwa misho ya dunia we give you thanks lord tukupa shukrani we give you praise tukupa sifa in jesus kwa jina la Yesu. Everybody shouted it. Amen. 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 God bless you. Mungu awabariki. Now, you may be seated. Sasa mwaweza kuketi. I want us to receive an offering. I want to speak especially also to those of us online. Nataka kuwazungumzia pia wanaotazama kwa mitandao ya kijamii. We take an offering everywhere. Kwamba tunachukua sadaka kila mahali. And um, let your giving support healing jesus campaign a very very expensive effort nataka sadaka yako itumike kusaidia campaign hizi za kuleta uponyaji and i want to pray over everybody's offering and all of us in the hall as well take ku... out to, i mean let us do something to redeem the image wacha tufanyeni kitu leo tafadhali kukomboa picha yetu mbaya yes mm. of zero offerings ya kutoweza most kut... zero offerings atutoagi sadaka in Kenya hapa Kenya Father thank you for everyone that is giving Asante kwa kila mmoja anayetoa kwa nguvu in the name of Jesus kwa jina la Yesu I want to share some give me some envelopes Hebu nipe bahasha kadhaa And let's stay let's stay online Tuendelee kukaa kwenye mtandao I want to give you an opportunity because I preach about it. want to give a special offering i'm doing only one thing from you or your church to support healing jesus campaign 
to sow a special seed of a thousand dollars, whatever it is in your currency. Takantoe nafasi kwa sababu nimefundisha mambo haya wewe ni yako ama ni kanisa lako unaweza kutoa mbegu ya shilingi 1150 hamsini kutoka kanisani kwako Father touch everyone to give in Jesus Baba guza kila mmoja atoe leo And you want to give I want to give you an opportunity take one of this envelope to sow a special seed in healing Jesus campaign Taka nikwatie nafasi uchukue basha moja ya hizi upande upande mbegu maalum kwa sababu ya campaign hizi za Yesu na I'm believing God for about a hundred Kenyans. God bless. This is a Ugandan. Na, na, this is from where? United States. This is US. Mimi mungu kwa wa Kenya. Where are you from, my dear? Netherlands. Netherlands. We are from Netherlands. Netherlands. I'm waiting for the Kenyans. Na, this is for the Kenyans. Hii ni wa Kenya tukomboe picha yetu. Kenya. Kenya. Where? Kingdom seekers. Oh, that's a blessing. And this is from where now? Nyeri, Nyeri, yes. This is my bishop in Nyeri. And this is... Huh? Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. Wow. God bless you. Come back. God bless you. Church? You have a church? Yes. Receive a uh, multiple. Proverbs 4.18. This for Proverbs 4.18. Proverbs 4.18. Put it on the screen. The path of the just is as the shining light that shines more and more unto the perfect day. May you, may you shine more and more in the ministry to the perfect day. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, man. Where are you from? Kenyan. God bless you. God bless you. Kenyan. Are you Kenyan? Oh, yes. I want, to, I want us to break a curse. Taka tuvunje yes. laana. Yes. By giving. This is Elijah. God bless you, Kenyan. 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 <laughs> I need envelopes. Na itaji bahasha za kutosha. I'm waiting. You are sowing a seed in healing Jesus Christ. Maybe you are watching online. It's also an opportunity to sow a seed. Hii ni mbegu maalum ambayo tunapanda kwa huduma hii ya kampeni za Yesu za uponyaji. Yesterday only two people took envelopes. Jana watu wawili peke yake. About 100 people are going to give envelope, take envelope this envelope to Le. help to pay. Saidieni. So support that we are driving from here to Lumumbashi. Sasa tutaendesha hayo Maro Congo DRC. From here we are going to Lumumbashi. All the trucks and everything. You can imagine how many thousand miles we are moving to Lumumbashi. Ebu fikiria Maro so hayo yote in evangelism yanatoka so hapa sasa yanakwenda upande wa kaskazini wa Kongo hebu fikiria ni maili ngapi hizo ambazo hatuna budi kuzipitia you are a son of bishop obi and you want to come back okay who is this who is this it was in a bible school yeah those who leave you yeah yeah. Ah. Oh Jesus, have mercy, we pray, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Let there be restoration. Let there be a return. In Jesus' name. Amen. You have your life back. Amen. Yeah. You, what are you doing for those people? And you preach in, to yes. people in the streets. Yes. And you are in Kenya. Yes. In Kenya. The Lord multiply you and, and the Lord supply. Mm -hmm. Supply. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name. So the seed is a spiritual. It's a, we, are not, we are not in trying to raise money, but I want to help you to give. Be blessed. Oh, yes. Are you a pastor? Where? Here in Akuru. And you want to sow a seed. Are you sure you are going to sow the seed? Beautiful. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Are you a rebel from somebody's church? No? You started the church yourself? And you are under a ministry. So you are not a rebel. Do you plan to be a rebel? You don't plan to be a rebel. 
May you never be a rebel. May you be a faithful man, my brother. May you never follow the ways of Lucifer and destroy what you are building. In the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Kenya, be blessed. May your church multiply. Are you in this kingdom? Bahati. What is in Bahati? I've never heard of Bahati. But you are a pastor there. How big is your church? How many people in your church? 50? That's about 25 people, really. Kneel down. May what you have started multiply in Bahati. Kilo be head of in Bahati. In Jesus Bahati. Name. Amen. Chairman, thank you for your support. God bless you, sir. Ah, yes. Yeah, I need a few envelopes. There's power here. You are what? Who are you? Um, Pastor David. Pastor. Pastor Nairobi. Nairobi. Yes. You have a big ministry in Nairobi. Yes, I have a church in Nairobi. But it's not big. It's not big, it's not big isn't it? Yes. It's very small. Yes. Mm -hmm. You need transformation. Do you have oil here? No oil. You need transformation. Are you a rebel? No. You haven't broken somebody's church. My father was a bishop. Your father was a bishop? Yes. Mm. And he prayed for me. Yeah. But you see, you need transformation, like totally. Yes. Yeah. Because you are not how you are supposed to be. Yes. Yeah. And, and, and I gave three keys yes. for transformation. And these three keys apply to you. So, beginning from today, be transformed. Give me a, just a drop of oil. Father, I thank you for transformation. Transformation. In the name of Jesus. Be blessed. Be blessed. Be blessed. There's power here. There's power here. Come this way. Ah. Pastor, I saw you sitting in the front. A bishop, sorry. Yeah. But your ministry will be bigger than your title. Amen? Your ministry will be bigger than your title. This is my prayer for you. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Where, where is your church? You have a ministry where? Countrywide. National prayer, but you don't have a church. Where is the church? Okay. Listen, brother. National Prayer Warriors. But listen to this. The church is more important than anything you are doing. Did you know that? Eh? Okay. God wants to make you international. You are local, but you'll be international. Do you receive it? Do you receive it? Do you believe it? Yes. You are to become international. Hmm? Yeah. Receive it. And then also God is giving you another father. Hmm. Father who will father you or cause you to exist in certain realms of the ministry that you haven't existed in. Because you have existed in a part. But there are other aspects that are foreign to you that you don't know. So receive the grace to, to, to operate in other other dimensions that you don't know about yet. You don't know about it. Yes, but you know about it. Lift your hand. You receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. Be blessed. Are you aware this offering is in U.S. dollars? Okay. Okay. It's a thousand dollars. All right. No, no, you, you are, are shaking. You are trembling. Lift your hands. There's power here. Father, whatever is missing. Whatever is missing, let it be found. Let what is disappeared or missing and vanish and not in your ministry, in your life, let it be found. I pray for you in Jesus' name. Come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. In Jesus' name. Amen. Rwanda, the Lord bless you. And the Lord, give me the oil. The Lord multiply. 
Somebody said, why do you pray with oil for some people and some you don't? Mind your own business, please. <laughs> There's power here. I told you. Bring him to me. You see, your ministry is being transformed. Your ministry is being transformed. There's power. Power belongs to God. Come, ideas, come. I want to just... Sorry. Be blessed. Be blessed. Where is your church? Kisi. 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 Be blessed in Kisi. I don't know Kisi. But it, it's, it's, it's a small town. But you will be great in the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Be blessed. Where are you from? New York City. New York City. Yes, sir. Are you a pastor? Um, prophet, traveling. Traveling pastor. What do you want the Lord to do for you? I want to build my television uh, network to reach the entire world. Mm. And I want to build the uh, international headquarters mm. very soon with the team and the people and the equipment and have outreach to the, to the whole world. Jesus, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for a greater grace. A grace to fulfill this great calling. In Jesus' name. Amen. Receive the grace. Now, I'm giving you all. Just take my envelope. Wait, I'll pray for you. Don't go. Don't go. God bless you. God bless you. Now, this is a $1,000 offering as a blessing for you. And I'm breaking the curse of poverty. Um, and the inability to receive offerings. Na, na, I believe in this nation. Na vunja laana, na vunja laana ya kutoweza kupokea sadaka. Let me just pray for all of you here. Cheni nwa umbe wote. If you if you want to give an offering, you need to come now because we are ending. Come on, ndaku toa sadaka ina yuko sasa. I feel the power of God here right now. Nguvu za mungu ziko hapa nyingi. I am hearing in the realm of the spirit the word new chapter. What, what, what are you doing? What do you do? Yes. You preach. You preach in church. <laughs> There's power here. Receive grace. Pokea neema. Pokea neema. Pokea neema. Pokea neema. Take. Pokea neema. Jesus, thank you. Kajina la Jesus, thank you. Kajina la Is your ministry who are here? Nairobi, yes. You are a city man. You are a city man. But it's not big. It's not big. Mm. See this. God is going to break you down. And then he will build you up. He's going to break you down. And then he will build you up. Receive. And receive the humility to walk in it. In the name of Jesus. Thank you. Which church are you in? Are you a pastor? Is it your own? You are a bishop. Bishop elect. Oh, bishop elect. Wow. Hmm. Thank you, Jesus. For your blessing. Now, ladies in ministry. Are you in the ministry? What are you? You don't preach. Ladies in how about you? You are a bishop. Beautiful. You know, the Bible says a woman shouldn't preach. But God is still using you. And you. Thank you, Jesus, for kindness. Mercy. In the mighty name of Jesus. Women in the ministry. There are some women here. You know, God is going to use you even more than a man. Even though you are not supposed to preach. Kuna wadada hapa ambao Mungu atatumia sana hata kuliko wanaume. Thank you Lord. Sante Bwana. Thank you Lord. Sante Bwana. Oh yes. Be blessed. Lift your hand and receive the power of God. Inua mikono yako pokea nguvu za Mungu. Newness. Upia. Take the grace of God. Newness. Pokea neema ya upia. Newness. Upia. Newness. Upia. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Pokea katika jina la Yesu.
There is power here. Kuna nguvu hapa. There is power here. Kuna nguvu hapa. But ajilo mazama ndala and what do you do? You are what? Retired. Farmer. I feel a blessing for you. I feel a blessing for you. Lift your hands. May the Lord help and bless you. Receive a blessing from the Lord in Jesus name. God bless you all. God bless you mama in Jesus name. Jesus name. Those of you who want to give an offering, this is your time. Are you a traveler? Where did you come from? Dubai. Dubai. What is in, in Dubai? Are you working there? I work in a pastor church. You pastor a church. Beautiful. Okay, so you travel. No, I'm based there. You are based there, but you traveled here. Yes. Sir. Yes. But you don't travel. So, Revelation chapter 10 and verse 11. Revelation chapter 10 and verse 11. Ufunuo kumi, kumi na moja. Yeah. And he said, thou must prophesy again before many people and nations. I know it sounds impossible. But so it is impossible. But nations will wait for you. Nations will wait for you. Thank you, Jesus. Sante Yesu. Bless your servant. Bariki mtumishi wako. Change his life and his ministry. Badilisha maisha yake na huduma yake. Bless this lady, Lord. Bariki maisha yake. Thanks. Sante. Thanks for power. Sante kwa nguvu. In the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. May the Lord help you. Mungu akusaidie. God bless you. Mungu akubariki. God bless you. Mungu akubariki. May the Lord heal. I see a sickness. Naona ugonjwa. God wants to heal you. Mungu anataka ni pray for you. Acha nikuombee. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Upone katika jina la Yesu. Anything that is disturbing you. Chochote kinakusumbua. In Jesus name. Mungu akusaidie. Amen. Amen. Ah, these are women in the ministry. Have I given you? Oh God bless you. Hawa ni wadada katika huduma. Chukua. Lift your hands. Weka mikono yako juu. Lift your hands. Weka mikono yako juu. Oh this. Shikilia hiyo. Are you are you also in the ministry? Uko pia kwenye no, huduma? No, lift your hands. Weka mikono yako juu. Father touch these ladies. There's Baba, power here. Guza hawa wadada kuna nguvu hapa. Kuna nguvu hapa. Mando sembe ndeke belede. In Jesus name. Receive power. Pokea nguvu. There's power here. Receive power. Kuna nguvu hapa. Pokea nguvu. Pokea nguvu. Receive power. Pokea nguvu. There's power. Kuna nguvu. There's power here. Kuna nguvu hapa. Amanala shambondele bakedele bede. Come. There is a seed that was planted. Kuna mbegu ilipandwa. It must be uprooted. Lazima ingolewe. Masando. Jesus. Yes. Seed that was planted. Mbegu ilipandwa. That must be uprooted. Lazima ingolewe. Bala gubere shindo la mazandala babanda. Jesus name. Jina la Yesu. There's power here. Kuna nguvu hapa. Power. Nguvu. Power. Nguvu. Oh yes. Ndiyo. Thank you for your help. Sante kwa msaada wako. I'm sorry. Brother, Ndugu, which church were you in before? Ulikuwa kanisa gani mbele? Church of God and where are you now? Sasa uko wapi? Christian Evangel. Christian Evangel. Mm. You are in Church of God now you are in Christian Evangel. Are you a faithful man? Wewe ni mtu mwaminifu. May the Lord make you a faithful man. Mungu akufanye mtu mwaminifu. May, may no one ever be angry with you or curse you. Watu wasikulaani. For being a wicked and ungrateful person. Kwa mtu Receive the grace to be faithful. Okay, a faithful man who can find. Mtu mwaminifu atapatikana wapi? Utapatikana sasa. Name. Kwa jina la Yesu. All right? Nam. Make sure you sow your seed. Hakikisha umepanda mbegu. actually an offering that is turning into all this. Hii ni ilikuwa tu ni wakati wa sadaka ambayo sasa inachukua mwelekeo mwingine. Be blessed. Ubarikiwe. Now anybody here kila mtu hapa who wants the power of God in your life? Taka nguvu za Mungu katika maisha yako. Lift your hands. Weka mikono yako juu. Receive. Okay. Hey, Jesus. Yoke is breaking. Nira inavunjika. Yoke is breaking. Nira inavunjika. Receive. Okay. There's power here. Kuna nguvu hapa. 
touch this man and his ministry Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Put your hand on your head right now everybody. May there be power in your life and your ministry beginning from today. Nguvu zozote kwa maisha yako na huduma yako kuanzia leo. Power in your life and your ministry beginning from today. Nguvu katika maisha yako na huduma kuanzia leo. Mazando la bakabaranda la mamanda la baba. Thanks. Watch watch careful. There's power here. Kuna nguvu hapa. Receive grace. Pokea neema. Mando shambala zanora manda la baba hold this for me Ishkia hi There's power kuna nguvu there's power kuna nguvu there's power kuna nguvu there's grace kuna neema there's grace kuna neema there's grace kuna neema there's grace kuna neema watch watch angalia ni vizuri watch angalia watch angalia power nguvu power in the ministry kuna nguvu katika huduma thank you jesus santo la mama anda santo yesu parome sindo lo moshanda grace neema grace neema grace neema for the children thank you watoto thank you santo oh yes ndio na sasa lift your hands over here wekeni mikono yenu juu hapa may there be power kuwe na nguvu hapa power nguvu Power belongs to God. Nguvu ni za Mungu. Receive it. Okay. Receive it. Okay. Receive it. Okay. Receive. Okay. There's power here. Kuna nguvu hapa. There's power here. Kuna nguvu hapa. There's power here. Kuna nguvu hapa. Thanks. Thanks. Santi. Thanks. Santi. Thanks. Santi. Thanks. Santi. Watch. Ngalia. Watch. Ngalia. Watch. Ngalia. There's power. Kuna nguvu. Receive gifts. Okay, have power. Receive grace. Okay, any the power. Receive gifts. Okay, any the power. Receive grace. Okay, neema. In the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. Thanks. Give me oil. Nipe mafuta. Oh, yes. Ndio. Let there be grace. Neema ya Mungu. Let there be grace. Neema iweko. Let there be grace. Neema iweko. There's power here. I tell you watch. Kuna nguvu hapa angalieni vizuri. Watch. Kuna nguvu. Watch. Angalia. Watch. Angalia. Watch watch angalia. watch watch angalia watch angalia thank you sante thank you sante there's power kuna nguvu there's power kuna nguvu in the name of jesus kwa jina la yesu lift your hand like this weka mikono yako juu namna hii god sees this hand huh? mungu anaona mkono huu let the power of god nguvu za mungu rest in your hand in your Zee. life tulie kwa maisha ministry. yako na mkono yako beginning from now kuanzia sasa beginning from now kuanzia sasa all on this side wote walio upande huu your hands wekeni mikono yenu juu there's power kuna nguvu thank you sante thank you sante thank you oh yes ndio oh yes ndio thank you jesus all of you here lift your hands nyote mlio hapo wekeni mikono juu baba asante let every negative spell kila mshale wa kinyume be removed from this kaondolewa kutoka kwa watu hawa in jesus name kwa jina la yesu and those upstairs na walio kwenye juu may the power of god fall on all of them nguvu za mungu ziwashukie nyote receive grace pokeni neema receive power pokeni nguvu ah dalama jandos berigelema jana mandala baba this pastor that you i'm pointing to you mchungaji naye kueleza yes come to me come jo jo no, no. the other guy Yo, yo mwingine. Where, where is your church? Kanisa lako liko wapi? Machakos. Lift your hands. Receive. Okay. There's power. Kuna nguvu. Watch. Care. Okay. Grace. Neema. The, there was another guy who came with him. Where is he? Kuna mtu mwingine amekuja na wewe hapa. Yes, Kwa wapi? Come to me. Mm. There's power here. Kuna nguvu hapa. Oh yes. Mm. Oh yes. Ndio. Thanks. Sante. Thanks. Sante. Thanks. Sante. All right, you may be seated. Maweza kuketi. Listen. Skiza.
I'm believing God for you too. Ninaamini Mungu kwa ajili yako pia. The curse of poverty. Laana ya umaskini. Amen. Amen. Where is the envelope? Wapi bahasha? Please you are here and you want to sow a special seed. Takto ambe give a thousand dollars but you can give what? 500 which is what? 70,000. Pengine you sow a special seed. Come. Pengine ungeweza kufikisha 1100. It is not for fundraising but it for breaking the curse of doing the church with almost zero offerings. Atufanye mchango lakini hii ni mbegu ya kuvunja laana ya kutotoa sadaka makanisani. Pengine uweze kutoa 1150 unaweza kutoa sabini. sasa njoo uchukue bahasha. Oh yes. Ndio. Lift up your hands my brother. Weka mikono yako juu. When I see you I feel like praying for you. Napokuona nasikia ni kuombee. When I see you I feel like praying for you. Nasikia ni kuombee. Stand up, stand up. Simama. What are you? We nani? A pastor. From Uganda. Yes, I feel like praying for you. Jesus, I thank you for your love. God loves you. Mungu anakupenda. Listen, don't be discouraged by anything negative. Usizuiwe na kitu chochote. Do you hear? Bless him, Lord Jesus. Lift your hands. Thanks. 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 You never be poor again. Hautakuwa maskini tena. You never be poor again. Hautakuwa maskini tena. You never be poor again. Hautakuwa maskini tena. Jesus name. Ka jina You Jesus. never look rich but are poor. Hautaonekana kama una kitu na hauna. In Jesus name. Katika jina la Yesu. Here you are. Na kuombea. God bless you. Mungu akubariki. So your special seed. Panda mbegu yako man. Jesus kwa kampeni hizi za Yesu za uponyaji na Mungu atakubariki. You know, najua if we continue tukiendelea lift your hand my dear. Where, where, where are you from? Umetoka wapi? Nakuru. You are from Nakuru. Wewe ni wa Nakuru. Huh? From this ministry. But I see something about you that is not from here. Kuna kitu naona ambacho sio cha hapa. Father show Baba. mercy Show mercy Onyesha huruma Show mercy Onyesha huruma and intervene na uingilie Give them the envelopes Kwa jina la Yesu God bless you God bless you Wanakubariki Thank you bless. Wanakubariki Be blessed Bring that woman to me Bring that woman to me the one who is praying. Huyo mama anaomba niletewe hapa mbele. The one who is praying loud. Huyo anaomba na sauti niletewe hapa. What do you want me to pray for you? Nataka nikuombee nini? For your ministry. Huduma yako. Father, thank you for her ministry. Baba asante kwa huduma yake. Thank you for her ministry. Asante kwa huduma yake. Thank you for healing. Sante kwa uponyaji. Thank you for helping. Sante kwa kumsaidia. Thank you for helping through your power. Sante kwa kumsaidia. Let her see it. Mbegu yake hii beautiful before you Jesus. Ika kufikia. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. Who is the lady who was praying that? Have you found her? They are bringing her. Okay. Now, I want you all to be blessed. Amen. Nataka kusiwe na mtu ambaye Anybody who wants to give 1000 Nani anaweza kutoa 1015 That's the ya mwisho nitafanya alafu tumalizie Unaweza kutoa 1015 njoo uchukue basha yako Simama tu hapa mbele Lazima nipeane sadaka bahasha kwa watu Take listen Sikia Do you know Do you know why I'm giving you the envelope now? Because I heard the spirit saying to me that 
when you give them the envelope you are giving them more than an envelope so that's why i'm giving the envelope myself ninawapatia kwa sababu nimesikia roho akiniambia ukiwapatia five people in this row kuna watu watano hapa who are receiving what i gave you was a car ambao kile niliwapatia ilikuwa gari yeah it was a car ilikuwa gari in the realm of the spirit katika ulimwengu wa kiroho receive it okay have you got the envelopes oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. receive it okay yes. oh yes many of you want to sow a seed wengi wenu mnataka kupanda mbegu oh yes ndio of 15 1000 shillings Kenyan shillings shilingi 1015 those of you watching you can also sow your seed there's a blessing and there's power here kuna baraka na nguvu hapa lift your hands who is this man huyu mtu ni nani is he the one who was praying loud huyu ndiye alikuwa anaomba kwa sauti kubwa weka mikono yako juu what do you want god to do for you nataka mungu akufanyie nini i want his wisdom as he presents in my life lift your hands kamikono yako juu father baba catch him mshike make him your bond servant mfanye mtumishi wako and mtu. use him na umtumie lift up your envelopes let me pray with you inueni bahasha zenu ni waombe oh yes, oh, yes. ndio Oh yeah. Come. Ndio. Lift your hands. Weka mikono. Kuna nguvu hapa. Kubadilisha maisha yako. Receive it. Pokea. The gift of God. The gift of God. Kipawa cha Mungu. The gift of God. Kipawa cha Mungu. Kenya will never be the same again. Kenya haitabaki kawaida. Never the same again. Haitabaki kawaida. Never the same again. Haitabaki kawaida. There's power here. Kuna nguvu hapa. Thank you Lord. Sante Bwana. For your grace. Kwa neema. Your goodness. Wema wako. And your gift. Na vipawa. In the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. Bless everyone who is in front here and all those participating. Bariki hao wote wamesimama mbele na wote wameusika kutoa. Make them mighty. Wafanye hodari. In your service. Katika ibada yako. I pray in Jesus name. Naomba kwa jina la Yesu. And everyone said amen. Kila mtu aseme amen. God bless you. You may go back to your seat. Mungu awabariki mrudi kwa viti vyenu. Now everybody take out a special offering right now. Sasa kila mtu atoe sadaka maalum. Now everybody take out your special this is a special uh, offering under the anointing. The anointing has not yet lifted. Upako, There's power here. Upako bado haujaondoka kila mtu. Take out whatever anything that you you want to give. Sasa mtolee bwana sadaka ya kipekee. Don't have to have this special amounts. Sasa si lazima uwe na kiwango fulani. Especially over you. Nataka nikuombe maombi maalum. Special feed. Mbegu tu specially. Lift it up. If it's in pesa, mobile, doesn't matter. Lift your phone. Weka simu yako kama utatoa sadaka kwa simu. Kama Don't ni... give an ordinary amount. Usitoe sadaka ya kawaida. Don't give an ordinary amount. Usitoe sadaka ya kawaida. It's a seed towards your special transformation of your ministry. Ni mbegu inayolenga kubadilika kwako katika huduma kabisa. There's power here, I'm telling you. Na... How many can see that there's power here? Wangapi wanaamini yes. kuna nguvu hapa? If you are around you, you know that there's power. Kama uko. Father, Baba, thank you. Sante. For everything. Kwa kila kitu. As your people give Tunapotoa sisi watu wako. Multiply their cars. Ngeza baraka gari zao. Lord, if there are 100 cars outside. Kama walikuwa na magari 100 nje. I pray that it will be 200 now. Naomba ziwe 200. There will be no debts. Kutakuwa na madeni. There will be increased flourishing. Kutakuwa na kuongezeka na kuna wili. for your people. Baraka kwa watu wako. In Jesus name we pray. Kwa jina la Yesu. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Thank Mungu you. Mungu awabariki asanteni. Asanteni.